Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventures here in Mass Effect. Last time we went and we beat up a whole planet because it was multiple levels of backstabbery and it was the one time that I was unable to do my preferred Paragon voice command because... I don't know, maybe I missed a Paragon choice, or like one of those, oh, we're not going to tell you which one's Paragon or Renegade, but one of these gives you Paragon points or Renegade points, and I missed like two, I guess, which meant that I couldn't save the asshole. Granted, yeah, he was an asshole who was like pulled a gun on a scientist and just like, ah, the poor people should suffer under our exogeny machination experiments blah so all in all and hilariously I think I still got paragon points for shooting him so hilarious good timing commander we got a transmission coming in from the citadel top priority clearance hmm patch it through take it I combat. didn't realize did not expect this but perfect timing I just wanted to check and see where I was in the world commander Shepard We've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Good. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Hmm. Infiltration units. You mean spies. Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. And sounds serious. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they so, were trying to tell us, yeah, it was important. we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Planet Vermeer. I'll Thanks for in. the info. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. And I got Paragon points for that. I find that amusing. You were nice to the council. Have some, have some money. Yeah, we're still in Pharaoh's space, and I think we looked over everything. So let's zoom out. I think we went to Hercules elsewhere. Kind of funny that it's like, oh, this is a thing. Hey, that's a new place. New things to look at. Yay. So let me check my, check my journal. Race against time? Okay, it just seems to be a good, it doesn't seem to be actual time. Uh, you need to explore Pharos, Neveria, the Artemis Tau Cluster, and Vermal to find clues that will lead you to the conduit before Saren. The Artemis Tau Cluster? That's not what you did. Investigate samples. The doctor's note seems to express some concern they provide to a group of preferred rally. Oh, that's not even the actual Cerberus. And then investigate Siddle. It's unclear what's it, but it appears actually sent some kind of sample to research to on Nodacross in the Maroon Sea cluster. More than likely, these are in the Vermeer place. And we're just slowly getting there for all of these. All right, so investigate the samples in the Maroon Sea Cluster. So yeah, M Maroon Sea, Maroon Sea. All right. But wait, I think, uh, actually before we, well, I guess we can head to the Artemis Tau Cluster, or not the Artemis Tau Cluster, that's a different thought. Because I think hmm. 
trying to think, because for some reason my brain's telling me that this wasn't here before. But I think it was, but it had to have. Brain's being dumb. But yeah, I think we already, the Artemis Tau Cluster was the place where we got to Dr. Tassoni. Century Omega. No. Maroon C, Hawking, Kepler, Armstrong. Maybe I just never... No, this is new. This is totally new. This is all new. Alright. At least I think it's new. Yep, Mateno system. And Vestok. So we begin with the Caspian. Purely because we don't have to land on the planet there. Or actually, come to think of it... We should probably check out the other ones first, because then the next one will be like, Hark, their last base is in Caspian. Probably. What? Oh. I just heard, Bush, bush, bush. It's just like, okay, who? what robot is punching me? And I'm not like, Geth robot, like actual, I don't know, Iron Man robot. <laughs> Oh, holy space gun! Shoot me! Message coming in. Patching it through. We just get tons of these. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. What do you need, We've sir? We've an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. I'm in. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy. And the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I can't just run in. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. You can count on I'll me. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. I'll scan all of the first uh, carefully track through the asteroid cluster. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. All right, I'll come back and read that in a moment. Come on, I want a survey. Survey! Matrix writings recovered. Scans of a Patitan revealed a strange unmanned... V oh, of, of Patitan. Pa it's the planet. Yeah. Revealed a strange unmanned vessel in orbit around the planet. Tally brought it on board and, dis and determined it was a sorry maid, but very old. She discovered several ancient artifacts inside the vessel, including one Matriarch Delinica's writings. Okay, before we go on to the planet below, I want to read... Uh, besieged base in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Well, we have a... Uh, investigate the facility, explore the colony. So yeah, I guess it's just like, now that we're here, we got a distress beacon from the planet below. Nodacru is a verdant world with abundant water, temperate climate, a thick nitrogen oxygen atmosphere, and a rich ecosystem. It would seem to be a perfect uh, for life. The relatively high percentage of oxygen makes humans feel energized and alive, though it has also allowed insect analogs to grow f to frightful sizes. Unfortunately, Nodacru is a case of almost not quite. Thunderstorms are common, as on Earth, but in Nodacru's thicker, oxygen-rich atmosphere, they are deafening and spark constant wildfires. More damning, however, are the large and ubiquitu ubiquitous tufts of pollen that float on the high-pressure air. In humans and other oxygen-breathing species, they cause severe and lethal allergic reactions. Yeah. I like some of the planets that have more to them... Oh yeah, and, uh, I almost forgot. Since I forgot to do it last night, after I finished streaming, I decided to, earlier today, go ahead and, uh, firstly outfit the rest of the crew, even if I don't really take them on many missions. Uh, fitted them out with a lot of, uh, 
items that work for them. So, weapons and mods on various characters. As well as went and omni-gelled as many things I thought were not worth keeping. Thorian Creeper? So I'm guessing this is Cerebrus is doing. Die. So... On my way. How many samples of the Thorian got off world? Yeah, but it doesn't look like we can access this. I guess it would have been, like, noted. And yeah, and uh, Tally got new armor. I think I bought armor for her a while back and I just forgot to give it to her. So yeah, either of these are just placeholder enemies. They're like, ah, oh, places here. But at the same time, we're looking for... Yeah, these are definitely keeps. These are keeps. At this point, anything that's five and below is getting nuked. Anything five or below is getting nuked into Omni-Gel. I'm sure there might be an outlier, like maybe a rare production line of something. It's like, oh, actually, this one is so good. The fives are just as good as other tens, but uh, I'm not going to memorize. Oh, fuck me. Why, production team? We're going to put a surveyable at the bottom of a giant cauldron with sheer cliffs. Why? What? Why? Why? This honestly angers me. Come on, it's level enough. I just hate climbing sheer cliffs with the goddamn Mako machine. Sure, this is optional, but you want to know what else is optional? Being a dick while making levels in a video game. Hee hee hee, I'm gonna put more sheer cliffs in the, the Mako sections. Because I get a hard on when people. But the concept of people having a hard time playing a video game. Because you know, when people are in the exploration section of the video game, they totally want to have a hard time exploring. I'm Breath of the Wilding this shit. I don't think I'm going to make it, though. Maybe. Maybe just enough. Nope. I doubt I'm going to make it anywhere of safety. Perhaps I can spider crawl. Somewhere that's good. No, there's nothing good over here. I'm impressed that I'm making it this far. Spider Mako, Spider Mako, exists because the designers are assholes. Yeah, I genuinely hate the des- Whoever made these, you can fuck off. Because this hurts. Oh, you have to go that way. Yeah, because I want to go that way. Dumbass designers. Why make fun when you can be dick? Why actually provoke joy when you can just be an asshole? Fucking seriously, why the hell would you, you make sheer fucking back, Commander, you're going beyond the range of the operational area? Wow, gee, it's almost like this is the only way that I can goddamn go. Because the designers are stupid when it comes to Mako sections. I swear, if I just blow up, I'm gonna get pissed.
Again, it's like, where the fuck else? Maybe that way? But no, I want anything to go that way. Because you know, put sheer cliffs in the one direction of everything that people want to go to and do. Like, honestly, that is horrendous design. That serves no point. If people find this on their first go to to the planet, they're obviously going to follow the trail of the Thorian Creepers to here. I just, I don't understand the design philosophy of sheer cliffs in the Mako sections. I just, I don't get it. They don't serve a purpose. They're not challenging. I get it. It's like, how do we make Mako sections engaging? Not that. Medieval torture rooms are too good for the people who thought that was a good design decision. Hey, you, here's another idea. You could make that and just not put the surveyable rocks in the goddamn rock cauldron. There's an idea. just so utterly inane and soul-crushing and rending. Ah. Alright, good. It's kind of maybe around. I just, I don't understand the utter psychopathy that goes into designing something like that. We're gonna make a path that lets you get into the cauldron, but not really out again. Ah oh yes, we're gonna make a pressure cooker that allows you to put like water and the food in, but then you can't stop it from pressure cooking so it just becomes a bomb. It's the same thing. Exactly the same thing and done by the same people. I know, because I'm psychic. Turian Insignia, we already have a lot of that. And how am I psychic? Well, I'm Commander Shepard. I ran into the pressure cooker species beacon. And it told me everything I need to know about Bioware. Could be that there, on top of the mountain. There's way too much grass on this planet. It's causing me to lag. You'd think that they would... Like... How is this 2007 game that, yes, has been modified for modern era? Ever so slightly, graphically, I suppose, maybe. Causing lag spikes... On my pretty decent computer. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that I can't go that way. Which is sadness. I want to go places and be the man. The Commander Shepard man. We. I search for debris. As my soul goes into smithereens. Hopefully they didn't put this in the middle of a cauldron too. That is all I ask. Just don't be a jerk when designing sections of your game. be nice and free-flowing. What the hell are these? I can apparently activate them. But at the same time, I cannot. Odd choice. High explosive rounds. 
Now the real question is, will I get the you are approaching maximum item number in this stream or not? Because I went and I got rid of a bunch of items and I swear it did not feel like I had over 250 items in my inventory. Like, maybe in the mods and bullets section, maybe could contribute to it a bit more. But I swear, in the guns and, like, bioamps and omni-tool sections, nah. Well. Okay, either... Let me guess, Cerebra screwed up so much they unleashed Thorian Creepers onto themselves, and now a surviving member of the C Cerebrus crew is just like, please, come help me. <laughs> yeah, it's saying journal updated. I'm not seeing which one is updated, though. None of them are flashing. I think my journal is bugged. I don't think I'd want to take off my mask since we're in here with a bunch of Thorian creepers, which means Thorians. That just does not look right. I'm going to reduce the Omnigel, those. You can do it individually, which kind of hurts, but hey. Uh... Makes it easier on the mind for the future. I guess it makes sense, because you might get things of different varying qualities. Enemy contact. I'm going to put on my sniper. What? That, that went right through him. question is who sent the distress signal and who are they trying to who were they trying to distress signal again probably a Cerberus scientist Let me guess, you dipshits weren't understanding what you were getting into. These are all uh, sleeping pods. A few corpses that look either burnt or they're Thorian creeper corpses. All right, save again, just in case. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. Not for Cerberus. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, chief exogeny researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. <laughs> You're okay now. I need to know what's going on. Why is what? this place crawling with Thorian creepers? Yeah. How do you know about the Thorian? Hmm. I killed it. <laughs> I've seen it. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. <laughs> you already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Yeah, you know how to make slaves. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Dumbass. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Wow, who would have thought? Messing with brain chemicals to try and make a subservient race of people. 
only turns out bad. It's like the Geth all over again. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside. Only the emergency beacon. Almost it sounds like you guys were the experiment to a degree. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Other survivors. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. And finally, Berserk Any creepers. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. No more questions. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. What do you mean? But it's over now. No There's sense no to sense report this. this to the authorities, right? You were doing something evil, brainwashing people to be slaves, killed a bunch of people regardless, and let's be honest, if you're brainwashing somebody into being a subservient slave, you're basically killing the them that existed. You, people died here, and you were the cause of it, because you were doing something unethical and with no real safe study. Like... Maybe if somebody volunteered for it to a degree, but then you could, like, coerce people into volunteering. So, no. People lost their lives. You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? It might Normally mean Exo that... Normally, Jenny would have my back, <laughs> but... It sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. What it, would it do to send you but to jail? I've got money. Principal. Nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. I can't do that. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire. <laughs> Ah, uh, high explosive, thank you. Exogeny's second-rate mercs prove no match for a trained Alliance Marine. With the last of the science crew dead, there's no reason to linger here. I have... N you cannot bribe me. You cannot bribe me. I'm here for, like, uh, a few main reasons. I say no to bribery. Unless it's, like, an innocent person that's trying to bribe me. It's just like... Because here's the thing, yeah. <laughs> you were trying to make people into slaves. Making docile, subservient workers. And then when they rose up and started to kill you, you're like, Oh, come on, they're already dead. Why send me to jail? Idiot. I need... I probably... Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. When I get back to my ship, I'm going to go back to the requisition officer and see if I can buy more grenades. I want to use more of my super grenades. But yeah. Screw Cerberus and screw Exogeny. Yep, and... Investigate samples still here in the Maroon. The not Caspian sector. Wait, that's just such ridiculous sociopathic thought process. Well, the people are already dead. Why send me to jail? Principles? Morals? Yo, you got any grenades? Looking for supplies? Let's see what you bet, Commander. Ah, uh, you don't have any grenades? How do I stock up on grenades then? That's the real question. The equalizer is actually eh, not better enough for me to wanna get anything new. 
Damn it, I'm gonna be low on grenades. Don't know where you can buy grenades. Don't know why I'm low on them. Like, I, I don't know. I know you can stock up on healing gel over there. What about Shepherd's Locker? Is this... Oh. Uh, I'm just going to reduce to Omni-Gel all of these because they are level 3s and not worth my time. I just want grenades. I don't know how to stock up on grenades. I think there's like one place on the Citadel where you can buy like grenade stuff and like grenade upgrades. And I guess we'll, get, we'll go to the Citadel after we stomp the next Cerebrus location. Matino. Just, to, just in case that there's another shock, shock and horror. The Caspian one is evil too. Light metal surveyed, and I think that is done for light metal required. I'm gonna quickly scan. Aha! After I found that one asteroid by accident in the asteroid fields. Yeah, this is the planet. Survey heavy metal. Prothean data disk! That one's done then. While scanning the asteroid field in the Matino system, you discovered a badly damaged ship. The recon team found no survivors on board, but they did find a Prothean data disk. Woot woot. Okay, that's the land. Maybe all the surveillance went into the asteroids? Yep, all the surveillance went into the asteroids. Alright, Chaska. Chaska is a large but low-density world, fundamentally similar in its inner neighbor, Inti. Like Inti, Chaska is tidally locked to Matino. Uh, Matano. The same side always faces the sun, resulting in scorching day side and a frozen night side. In the temperate areas around the Terminator, temperatures average around 30 Celsius. Combined with nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere, the slender band of habitable terrain allows limited colonization by humans. Cheska's ring is unique. It holds to be, it appears to be, for lack of a better term, a massive piece of alien installation art. The rings are made of small pieces of synthetic material and are almost invisible from space. From the ground, they catch and scatter the light of Matino in pi picturesque ways. It is not known who created the ring or when. Chaska is very early develop is it very early development, with li little more than a few pioneer teams scattered across. And it's basically half of uh, Pharos, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But let's go. Because there's a Cerberus team on this pier planet. Gold in them hills. And bastards who gonna die. Civilian, civilian science and debris. Well, luckily it's all in the same place. And since the surveillance isn't a part of a quest, I don't really care, especially because I'm getting tons of money anyway. Surveillance is just there for money. That's what I call the surveying. I don't know why I call it surveillance. It's just, I don't know, I like the sound of it. I'm coming, Anomaly! Goddamn cauldrons! Like, maybe if I stay up, I can get out easily. But yeah, I hate the mountain ranges the development team created for some of these Mako sections. Just let me get the hell out. Damn you. You have to make them... Mako a hell to drive. I just... Fuck off. I hate this. We're gonna make the controls ass. Then we're gonna make getting out of things ass. I 
think the Bioware development team surrounding the Mako just had an ass problem. Or two into ass. Maybe somebody whose language was... whose second language was English overheard some of the team going, Oh yeah, I like some ass. But then... They said, oh, the controls for this are ass, and they thought it was a good thing, and they never changed it. Loathe this design. Sheer walls that make it look like a kind of get out, but at the same time, it's just pain. Oh, hey, another pyramid. And a research station. It looks like it got attacked. Frictionless materials. Interesting. Give me your secrets. I'm probably just a Promethean data disk. Alright, so I can't do anything here. Apparently, Garrus wants to stay. Ah, secure crate. So, whatever was here, yeah, just another Prothean data disk. Damn you. Damn you. Why must you hide amongst the orange? You bastards, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce that to Omnigel. We're getting nines and tens. I don't think an eight is gonna make that much of a... Oh, yeah. Six, seven or something is gonna make that big a difference. Why is there so much mountain? They're pretty to look at, so stop putting things on top. Either make climbing mountains fun or easy. One or the other. If they're neither, then fuck off. You have failed at design school. You get an F. An F for fuck off. You just give me all the money in the world. Coming in for a civilian structure that's being attacked, probably by Thorian creepers. Or looks deserted. I've got a bad feeling. How Husks. The entire colony must have been transformed. So the Geth got here. Either that or tech cultists, I guess. As they call them. Once upon a time and I got a random grenade. I had like one grenade left and then I have two grenades. Does that have to do with something I did? Is that like the max grenades I can have for my maximum ordnance? Actually, that's, okay. that's possible, maybe. Grenade launcher. Nope, doesn't say anything about limiting. Still two maximum, two of seven. Dang it. You guys are in my way. I 
I thought I could go around. here and why am I fuckers stop shooting at me they blew up a canister and hit me I will fly and shoot you because I'm magical I am the magic boy Good thing these normal people aren't alive to fight me because their guns are scary. Multiple... Oh. Just eight stations outside the door and then nothing else. Did I get, like, untoxined because I went to the eight station or did it just uh, remove itself? You know, if the amount of loot I'm getting, I can kind of see why I rack up my stuff so fast. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. From now on, I'm gonna probably try and stay like three levels around the maximum level I'm currently like able to get to. So like if the maximum level is 10 averaging, and then nines and eights get to stay around while I nuke sevens and below. That's probably what I should do in the future. Well, let me guess. Cerberus did this to everybody. It's not even a geth thing. It's just assholes. Reduce you. Take nines. So yeah, Cerberus is probably running experiments on Geth husk spikes. They're like, oh, we're gonna, we're look, we're looking in a way to make subservient soldiers. So we like went and assassinated an entire mini colony. That's probably gonna be their excuse too. They're probably gonna be turned into. Oh hey, look, spikes. Place your bets. Geth or asshole human scientists? Seriously, I don't get Cerberus's, like, goal. They're just insane. And sociopathic. <laughs> Why? Dumbass AI. Yes, block my aim. Block the sniper's aim. Don't go where the commander points. Just get in the way. Luckily, it seems that friendly fire doesn't affect them, and I have two more grenades out of nowhere. I've just been killing husks. Can I open this door? No, I cannot open this door. Is there anything to open up here? Yes. With lots of boxes. Nuke you. Take high explosive rounds. I have half a mind to try some explosive rounds on my sniper, but I feel like that would easily overwhelm my poor, poor sniper. So many goddamn... Wrong button. Again, because I'm still like, my brain is still like, oh yeah, shift to run. Unless the game doesn't have run. 
then maybe I'll make shift into crouch just to make it easier to function. Like uh, TF2, since TF2 doesn't have a run button. Gonna quickly go through equipment. And go ahead and get rid of everything up to eight. Since we're getting some decent things. And plus I am worried about getting near my limit again. A lot of level seven shotguns. And only one level eight. Yeah, I'm just paranoid of running into the item limit again. And figures that nothing will stand against my Reaper. Well, not really Reaper specific, I guess, but requisition specific sniper uber rifle. Even if there are things above it in level, it is quality. And that's enough for now. Well. And considering the proximity of the civilian places and this Cerberus base, I'm totally just going to assume they did this intentionally. Unless they're all turned into husks too. Which even then doesn't discount everything. Could be another, oh, the slip. I just snapshot that. Love me. Save inside. And I have five grenades. So yeah, I'm, I could totally believe that right now the Cerberus bases in this maroon system is looking into various ways of making slaves. Thorian Creeper slaves, Husk slaves. Garrus, Garrus, stop moving. Take a sightline and keep it. I'm not being told that that's the last of them. And as usual, we go away from the quest marker for side stuff. Big empty room. That's worrying. So what will be here? A terminal? Uh, another group of scientists that managed to survive? Terminal. Good for them, because they were probably going to die anyway. <laughs> Savant. Oh, a level 10 sniper and shotgun. Let's take a look at that level 10 sniper. Ooh. Now, that's actually pretty decent. It does about 50-ish. Well, 40, upper 40s more damage. Has about the same heat capacity and 69 accuracy. I should take it for the 69 accuracy alone. So level 10s are where it's at. I'm going to quickly take a look. Yep, make sure there's nothing behind these here diddlies. 
A colonizer pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. Yeah, they were testing stuff out on just like doing such stupid shit. I can understand wanting to test these things out even in immoral ways sometimes. Like at least the Thorian, stabbing people with spikes and turning them into husks for science doesn't really seem all that smart. If you ask me. All I need is rare earths and heavy metals. Colony of the Dead. The Victims of various Organizations Experiments. All that's left is... I guess I'll check out Caspian. And then we'll go to the Hades Gamma Cluster and the Cac... Take a system for that. Like, friggin' seriously. Cerberus is just going above and beyond of just being utter bastards. And the uh, a asteroids disappeared. I thought they would stick since I've already surveyed them. But to Caspian just to round out this system for surveying at the very least. And hey, I think we can go there and talk to them. See the planet terrain insignia. Don't really care. It's just, ah, you found a thing, but not a thing. Just want to make sure there isn't anything like hiding. Heavy metal! I think it's rare earths and something else that I need, though. More heavy metal. MSV Cornucopia. Registry X Solar Shipping, Sol. The Cornucopia is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of the human design. While obviously a trip, the Cornucopia is not broadcasting any distress. Let's check it out. Seems weird. And I'll definitely save again. So if I want to immediately leave, I can. Though this looks like it might be another standalone, like uh, that uh, ship, uh, ship with the crazy lady and the brain dead guy. There's particles in the air. That doesn't look good. Either that's dust or just particles. I don't like the looks of this. Containment. The ship's probably crawling with them. Guess we don't have to worry about looking for survivors. I shoot more, but it packs less of a wall up. Wait, I have this. This might be the perfect time to try that high explosive rounds, maybe. Yeah, the moment I stepped on this goddamn place, I knew something was up. I was way too... Why are you using your pistol? I did put it on the right gun. No, I did not. I'm dumb. I'm gonna put you on Inferno Rounds. I am super dumb. 
you get high explosive. Please have more enemies that I can kill. So yeah. Might defeat the purpose of this gun. does mean that I can collateral enemies a bit. And, oh great, it's the Eden Prime audio glitch, it's back! My favorite glitch. The one where the audio just decides to die! Didn't think it would be this mazy. So I'm gonna hold true to the oldest... Also doesn't help that I think husks just kind of spawn in. What the hell is going on here? Just care, oh yeah. Just spikes. Just spikes. Sure. Just the horrible zombie spikes, nothing to worry about. I'm gonna try and maybe see if I yeah, I should wouldn't do that. Taking a look at the various dealies. Because I think that's what I had before. I think I might just prefer it, prefer it overall. Reduced Omni Jail. Really, I'm all for blowing this place sky high. No survivors. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. You mean the spikes? They brought it on board, and then... This is really weird, Shepard. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. They were brainwashed. That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into get space? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. I don't see anything about how they got back into human territory. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it, trying to show us what happens to anyone who goes into the veil. That could be it. Hope no more, Spawn. Because it would be a small jump scare. But hey, at least we found something here. I guess next we're gonna head to the Hades Gamma. Okay, I'm Hades Gamma Quadrant. And head to your new. These two are new, so we're gonna go Cacus and then that one. Ferinta, I think it was. For a 
first things first. Scan the asteroid belt. Survey, rare element. That's the land, probably where poor bastard is being overrun and brainwashed, heavy metal. And nothing of interest. All right, let's read. Chohi is a terrestrial planet whose surface is mainly composed of aluminium, with numerous deposits of calcium. Though it has enough mass to retain a dense atmosphere, Chohi is nearly a vacuum. This lack of atmosphere allows a moderate average temperature, but the differences between day and night are extreme. The surface of Chohei's sunward facing side is usually covered by a haze of volatiles, mainly water vapor and carbon dioxide, which return to the ground as frost over the course of a long cold night. The Sarita Foundation has established a research outpost on Kohe Chohei to investigate the native subterranean life of Chohei, which shows incredible resilience to extremes heat and cold. And now they've been taken over by Biotics. Whom I need to try and not kill. Well, I can kill the Biotics, just not the researchers. Yep, and my planet surveying quest is done. Slowly getting rid of all those quests that are basically there as collectibles to a degree. But instead of most game, like, uh, unlike most games that are like, hey, here are the absolute maximum amount of collectibles. Go get them all. This one's just like, eh, here's kind of like an average amount of the collectibles we want you to find. And then we'll just put them in your quest log. Transmitter tower. Matriarch's writings were covered. While sifting through the pile of debris, you discovered another Matriarch Delenica's writings. It's in bad shape, but most of it is still intact. And now it's just battle locations. Locations of battle. And double! Okay, it's been living in this place. The small crate has some stale food and one of Matriarch Stillenlinica's writings. It's still in fairly good condition. Uh, condition, unlike the food. I'll nuke you. And take the other thing. Three writings? Close to the transmitter, your comms pick up recordings of Wistful String Quartet. You power the system down. Whoever lived here, they haven't been quite uh, back in some time. The crates are covered in Chohei's chalky dusk, dust. And the status lights of the shack indicate the atmosphere ran out long ago. Whoever it was, they had a shit ton of Matriarch Delinica's writings. Let me guess. <laughs> if this were a Cerberus planet, I would be like, oh, they were probably kidnapped by Cerberus, but. This is just a normal research team that's been kidnapped and brainwashed by biotics. See? I like these kinds of mountains. Ones that can be scaled and aren't terrible if they have sheer cliffs. I don't like the ones on the grassy planets, basically. The grassy planets can go to hell. Alright, we'll need to be careful because the science is in here. Take down the terrorists, but remember to check your targets. The civilians are so addled by the drug, they'll wander right into the firefight. So they're not even gonna fight, they're just gonna run around like husks, probably. I want you to stay back. I'll take care of them. Primarily because I don't want them to just accidentally shoot innocents.
Or they'll just stand there. You cannot stop them, you Asshole. Take cover. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, fuck off. He shot the innocent man. That is honestly bullshit. We're gonna make it difficult for you to fight biotics, and then we're just gonna have them shoot innocent people. Wish I could knock them out with a punch. Scientists were by that. We are the evolution. That's honestly bullshit. Hello, heal. Researchers killed fuck off. This is just a bullshit. This is a bullshit mission. Not to mention, why the fuck did you guys follow me? I specifically told you not to. Doesn't help that it seems like the AI just shoots randomly. Fuck you. Get into cover. Asshole. Fuck off. AI. Cover. This AI is so fucking stupid sometimes. Get into fucking cover. And stay. And now I will save again. I hate biotics. Gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Oh yeah, I sure do love being able to shoot once, and then they just randomly kill scientists. I f game. I saved. Fuck off, game. Why did it take the f- I put- <sighs> Game! That's so stupid. Get in the fucking corner. Get in the corner. Dumbass AI. It's almost like if I save with my allies going to a specific place, I don't want them to follow me! Fuck biotics. Get up, get up. the evolution of humanity. You can't stop the future. Assholes. Oh. Why won't you let me s You're gonna shoot the fucking exploding cans, aren't you? Clear facility. All the civilians are safe, though still chattering to themselves and screaming at the garbage cans. Evolution of humanity, huh? Those biotics didn't seem different from the other scum you deal with. Assholes. They intentionally put exploding cans around to make a firefight fire hard. 
against biotics who are already difficult. Because they can just knock you the fuck down. Asshole design this was. It's already hard enough dealing with biotics. And I couldn't take my team in with me because they would have shot randomly and probably killed the scientists too. I don't really care about snowblind rounds, so we'll just get rid of them. Wait, a oh, malfunctioning object just flitting between these console thingies. Oh, hey, more snowblind rounds I don't care about. Also kind of funny that they said, oh, they might wander into the firefight. No. They just stand there. Honestly, if they moved, it probably would have been a bit better that first time, because then I could have huddled in this corner and had them come to me. But no, they strategically put one bald man in the way, because they knew. They knew what the, the Prima strategy guide would have said. Oh, just go left. They're like, ah, so we're going to put one guy there. Oh, but he could walk away, which would be too easy for the player. That's a good point. What we'll do is we'll make them stationary. So now that new, like, areas are opening up, I wonder if I should, like, go back to places I've already been to to access the new potential areas and see if I remember them off the top of my head. Mercury, I'm gonna die. This is gonna be a worm, isn't it? even is. Like, what does it do under the ground? What are the point of the tentacles? What are the point of these tentacles? It's annoying slowdown. Come on, I killed you. These are badly designed enemies. Oh, what's that? You got me down to zero health. Well, is in the middle of my form change, so it doesn't count. Stupid shenanigans. Hello there, loading personality. We are playing more Mass Effect. And hoping to dear God that we don't go to any more Earth-like green grassy planets because I hate the mountains there. As well as also cursing the existence of Cerberus for being mean assholes who killed my boy. Let us take off. Message coming in. We Asher saved the through. people. We saved everyone. I think it could be done, Commander. It took lots of reloads. You managed to secure the base and neutralize the biotics without a single civilian casualty. Luckily, they were just standing around. And then I just had to find the right place to hide and crumple into the corner because I got hit by a biotic. Just doing my job, Admiral. I couldn't let innocent lives be lost. I wish every soldier had your definition of just doing your job. You're a credit to the uniform, Shepard. We're in your debt. Fit fleet out. I did. I saved the day. And 
now we're gonna check out Plutus, because this is a new place that showed up after I did my last story mission, I think. Granted, uh, I'm mainly coming here to see if we get a new mission, because then again, I guess we could just drop down onto the planet, check out all the interesting things. But at the same time, it's possible that there's, like, a mission thing that happens there. But then again, I think they, like, specifically lock down planets that they have, like, story things related to. So, um, yeah, we should, we'll probably just go down there, see if we can just shoot whoever's down there, discover the secrets of the universe, I guess. As well as read. Warning, level one heat hazard. Though it is one of the oldest entries in the star charts, Nonuel has not yet been fully mapped. It is the largest body in the asteroid belt of the blue star Plutus, not only large enough to maintain a spherical shape, but also massive enough to retain the noxious carbon and sulfur dioxides venting from its many volcanoes as an atmosphere. Nonuel is rapidly, rapidly volcanic, and the source of its great heat is also the source of its inordinate size. Nonuel is a secondary source of element zero, coalesced around a large chunk of Ezo, ejected by a supernova's billions of years ago. Surface conditions are extremely hazardous, in addition to the thin crust and numerous magma flows, wide stretches of the landscape are coated with slippery ash and cinders ejected from volcanoes. Since we're already here, let's go down onto the surface, see what madness may become. See if there's only suffering, or if there's majesty in these rocks. Anomaly, debris, and Warlord's Outpost? Okay... Maybe I should leave without touching the Warlord Outpost. Because this could be a part of somebody's story, but again, I don't know how they handle, like, the appearance of systems, or if they just disable landing on a planet if they don't want you to land there for story reasons. Hello, dead person. Medallion recovered. This mercenary was carrying a League of One medallion. There's no indication of how or where he found it. Judging by the footprints in the ash, the two mercenaries were facing each other over the crate when they died. Both suffered some gunshot wounds and have a rifle close besides them. Man, just matriarch uh, matriarch writings. Be gone, polonium rounds. You are too low level. I forgot this is a heat hazard world. Oh, so, oh, so quickly do I forget the dangers of the world I'm on? I see a dead body. I just examine the dead body, take the contents of the crate that the dead body was guarding, and go, oh yeah, I'm in danger of dying. Take them all. And we'll get close and save. Because, again, it's possible this could be part of a quest, but at the same time, this could be one of those quests that you can go and do while you're doing other things. And then if, as you come across the later part of this quest, they'll be like, oh, you already did that. Well, <laughs> So, I'll go ahead and save while I'm out here, and then we'll get closer and I'll nuke him. Let us go over the barren doom world. With the floating ashes of God. Oh hey, a surveyable rock. More money for me. Fear the power of the Mako. It can do handstands. Rare element.
Regiment Samarium. And more money for me. Well, it doesn't seem like there's any, like, guards. Well, uh, then again, why would there be guards? This is a heat hazard world. The guards are probably on the inside. Then again, they could have turrets. Oh, it's possible they'll just lock us out because we're not meant to be here yet. Yep, we can't can't do anything here. That's a decent compromise. We can go to the planet and do things on the planet, but the Warlord outpost... No, 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 it's locked. The Warlord is smart, knows how to lock his front door. But sir, how will we stop people coming in? The only way we know how. Locking the front door. Let's check around. Yeah, no. Wait! Nope. I think... Yeah, the Grissom appeared. I just remember... Oh wait, I remember there only being four there. That's because the fifth one appeared while we were going there. Just looking around to see there's any new places and all the places that I've been, just in case. Because for some reason, a few new places have shown up. I want to be interested and careful. Love the different colors that the various things have. Well, nothing else. Let's head to Vermeer. The Hawk system of Vermeer. And after we do this, we'll head back to the Citadel, see if there's anything happening there, and then probably do a main quest. I don't read planets I can't land on. That'd be too much. I already have so much time just uh, spent listening to characters talk that I feel like I would spend a little too much time reading. Vermeer is a lush front... I, but I do read landable worlds because we're going to be going there. Vermeer is a lush frontier world, ideal for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the political instability of the nearby terminus systems has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers makes it unappealing homestead. Let's -a go. I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. Ooh, uh, what are those? Radar, Animals or probe thingies? Finally, we're not dropped from orbit this time. Got a clean drop, Commander. Good job, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Ah, it's this kind of world. Linear. Weirdo plant creatures, but don't seem to be a threat to me. We'll try not to disturb the local wildlife. We're not monsters. That would get me renegade points of plenty, I feel. Out of the way, creature. There's monsters afoot. It'd be nice if there was an actual, like, uh... Convers oh, yeah. But if there's actually a conversation thing, like, you managed to go through and not to hurt any of the local ecosystem. Good job, Shepard. Local ecosystem. I failed. 
Huh, it's kind of like a, what's it called, a, fuck, what's it called, light tower? Oh, I saw shields and knew that something would be hiding behind them. You'll never crack my shields, Geth. But I can crack yours. When I zoom in, I go into... Get out of here. I didn't even mean to hit you, but I did. We're heading in. We can't leave a single geth alive. Because we're geth racist. Ooh, yeah. Fuck the geth. Gonna have to come out where I can see you. Oh, yeah. Creepy crawl all you want. Solarian infiltration team got annihilated by a group of Geth. Come on, let me jump off. Let me go quick into the night so that I may even fastlier join the day. I wonder if at the end of the day, if the Geth turn out to be actually decently chill creatures, if we're going to be tried for war crimes. Be gone, Geth Colossus. I just realized, we haven't leveled up in a while. Because we have lots of experience to go. Fair enough. Are those Colossus or Armature? Armature. Be gone, army. Ah, there's the level up. Luckily, I don't have to worry about any of my beloved charm points. I guess I'll throw you into into those. There's one more free flying around. Geth this way. We gotta annihilate them. There's one thing I'm looking for in this world. The complete and total erasure of the Geth. At least until they prove that they are worth fighting for. Okay, I was wondering why you weren't doing anything. So I'm guessing that's not going to be a turret, but instead another Colossus. That's what you get for sniping at me. Yeah. 
Get out of here. Invade. Invade. There's our target, Commander. I mean, considering I don't think the Geth take prisoners, I feel like I can just obliterate everything in my path. Yay. Sound destruction. My favorite. I shall take all. Continuing my fears that I'm going to end up with more weaponry than I can handle. What the hell is that? Alright, that was an angry boy. I shot it and then it like roared and started running at me. <laughs> Generator still active. Get can override offline. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. now. Ready to continue on your mark, Commander Shepard. Again, wish I could just jump down. But yeah, if the Mass Effect 2 and 3 continue be like evolving and continuing the engoodening of this series, I may very well get Andromeda and play that just because I would enjoy... What the? Oh, that's Normandy. I thought it was a Geth ship. yourself. Dumbass. That's why you don't show yourself to your enemies. Because they're not nice. They want you to die. They want to take your wallet. Okay, I don't know what you did. You just ran at me and I shot you. Destroyers are officially scary for me. Because they yell and run at me. And I have a sniper rifle. And they usually, and at least two out of three kind of hit around corners, forcing me to get close before yelling and running at me. I'm going to quickly save. Since we've come a decent way into this world. You never know when a choice might pop up. No enemies on the Mako radar. Hey, Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian what? captain can explain when we get here. Huh. He better be able to explain, or I'll have to shoot him. Mako here. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Status. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirihi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. 
Huh. Now what? What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are them. We are the reinforcements. <laughs> what? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. The message was unclear. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Oh no. I feel like this is a very important mission. And now I kind of want to go and do a different main mission and just kind of build up to this. I'm scared. What kind of research? What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Genophage? What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Things just get worse. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. Depends how it's being done. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Rex? We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He, he'll listen to me. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? I understand. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Rex. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. <laughs> Just do it carefully. <laughs> You're right. I'll be careful, but be ready. Just in case. I'm always ready. I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? He is the boy. Captain Kirahi. Speak to the crow guy. Have him down. Because that's an AA. Communications relay. Yeah, just codex. I am worried that this is allegiance to you. Oh, he's shooting rocks. That makes sense. Hey, Rex. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Easy, Rex. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. It's not that simple, this isn't Rex. A cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do this otherwise. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. I got an achievement for that Archer, option. You've made your I'm point. going to assume I that's like a, a point you of you can lose leave. this character. So and it didn't even have any freaking diddly D. Because, yeah, here's the thing. Like, if Saren could figure out a cure for the genophage, 
then a better person can find a cure for the xenophage later, too. But now I'm scared. I just hope. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. I just hope that things don't go bad. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Take all. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. You can't have you much. Just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. The message was unclear. The request never came through. We'll just have to make do. That much is clear. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Well, they are upgrades. Unique items. And I take unique items. But hey, that's why I wanted to do Paragon and Char Charisma stuff early on. Because shit like that happens, apparently. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. <laughs> You've got a plan. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can or just kiss run it in. and ask goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where would Where that do we be? take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. He's right. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. If you'll all be killed. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Hmm. Who should I send with you? We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, <laughs> with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Captain, who do you need? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Honestly, I think Caden is... Like, this is also apparently going to be a very big choice. I feel like Rex isn't the only one I'm in risking of losing. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like I can maybe save you. And if I can save you... Uh, Caden. Uh, plus, I also trust Caden more than Ashley because Ashley's a bit anti alien a bit. I think Caden will overall be better. Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. Plus, he volunteered. I'll have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? What's your exit plan? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Sounds dangerous. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what That's is That's a death flag for my team. All right, other teams. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeto. They were the Jeto. initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. And finally, the nuke itself. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? 
Its reliability depends on the person arming it, oh, but fuck. it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. There are a lot of moving parts to this. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. I'm scared. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. What is it? Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. Death flag. That's I a death I, flag. Uh, I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. We're a team. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. I am scared. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Nice speech. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. I damn well hope we do. I just hope I didn't send Caden to die. That is my hope. I feel like somebody's got to die. Checked. You read me, Commander. Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, Let's see. Communications tower. We're gonna we head definitely there. Definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat. Shadow is on the ground. Fire is coordinated on Monovi team. We can't reach the gas turret. They're out of range. I can get some people out. Curious. The Geth certainly wanted to keep us away from that outpost. Geth communications disrupted. All right. Next we head to satellite. We'll take out the refueling platform before going around here to see what there is. But I really hope that I can save some people. Like Caden. I like Caden. Something scrambled or targeted. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Manavai. They're calling sat strikes. Theodo, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything?
thought that was the back of it, yeah. Krogan warriors. There's a uh, mark. Can I? I'm gonna get it done. I can't go from here. It says there's something here, but it's not on the map. Up. Well, I hope that's not important. Oh, there we go. The icon's still there, though. see anything else. We're locked into this. So I'm gonna make a save here. Okay, the uh, the icon's finally gone. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Here to stop them from recharging. Oh, I just got nuked. But I thought all my bloody shield was still running out, not my health. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Something below? Game? Game! Stop! Okay, the icon went away. We're gonna make our way back around. Just a bit. Just to make sure there's nothing like an unmarked objective this way. Okay, 
this is faster. Pressing enter actually gets rid of it a bit. Okay, not you. You're actually pretty decent. it for now. So now we need to head to the research facility. Facility entrance or facility entrance. There are two different goes. Uh, feels like it might be part of a choice. Like if you go one way you have a chance to save one. Go another way you lose the opportunity. I can't even go over it. Like, uh, to zoom over it. Even though that was the perfect sniping spot. Quickly head in here to get rid of some. Because we have a lot. Dang it. Since we're going up against a lot of synthetics. We have a plenty of, of incendiary. We're never gonna use cryo. God fucking damn it, why is it not easy? Why have that? Just let me fucking get rid of the things I'm not gonna use, game. actually do that. We don't use snow blind at all. Or cryo. Okay, there. Gonna save a bit. save because this feels like it would go to the front maybe let's check out the other one that's why I saved there because there isn't anything pointing to one being one or the other says that there's an entrance, but there isn't an entrance. Don't really care about pistols, and, but Naginata is not. Alright. So that seems, unless, below. Below is an entrance. save over the last one, because that's just my... Ooh, which way do I go? I think this one might be an interesting way. Because it says facility entrance. And 
indoctrinated. Oh yeah. You spend enough time in the thing thing. Access base security. Access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. We might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. They've got enough trouble. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Make sure there's nothing on this side. It's just stuff. A reduce all. Because I can't wear heavy, so that's worthless. I already have a lot of Armageddons, and harpoons are worthless to me. But I'll take the rest. I'm just on edge because there is so much that can go wrong. What do you want? I told you everything. I. Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Are you okay? Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savant of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd said anything to get out and get some payback. But it's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Are you fit to fight? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They've piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Shepard. Hmm. You're right. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No. I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Sorry, I out. can't risk it, sir. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Aha, there we go. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! He is crazy. So I feel like he would have endangered the mission if we... Oh, that was Renegade. Screw you, game. You give me a Renegade, I say no. I mean, come on, how is that Renegade, really? Everything points to him being a danger to the mission. And even there at the end where he's saying, I have to do what it says, let me out, let me out, let me out seems to imply that he's far gone. The fine game. Right, Captain Sandy. We've got access to clear out the guards for us, but they've got enough trouble. Disable the alarm. If the game is going to label something as Paragon or Renegade. Honestly, I have enough stuff. So I'm not going to go after the stuff behind the stairs because I don't think it's going to be an upgrade for me anyway. I'll save before this one again. What do you want? Who are you? Alliance, right? Slow down. I, that's not too much to ask, is it? Are you fit to fight? I'll be your Something's not right here, Shepard. can't just leave him. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. 
I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? Simple! Oh. Then he became evil anyway. So, I was kind of right. That's kind of weird. But fine, game. End result's the same. Very, very odd. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. To lab, to detention cells, to base exterior. Okay, that decision's done and dusted. You're not insane. Of the third infiltration regiment captured during recall. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base. Sorry, I'm all you got. The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds, but the indoctrination is a greater threat and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Tell me about the research. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I think I can trust you. I'm opening your cell. But then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Why did Saren do this? There's just no reason. Let them out. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. They're no Let threat. Them. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. Oh, but not this one. We're not going to let that one out. Silly decisions. Silly, silly, weird moral things going on. Let's see if we can head to the lab. If it leads to anything important, we'll head to the exterior instead. I just feel like heading to the exterior might uh, head to the next thing. Access that one. Take all. That one guy had a name, though. Doctor something something. Ah, oh, genophage labs. We'll go to the security office, to the communication tower, and then to the breeding grounds. Hmm. Got 
Goddammit, stop. Security. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Hmm. What are you talking I about? I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Tell me about your research. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. Collateral damage? What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Saren's in Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Uh, so something could be controlling Saren suffering. into all this. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. And then Sovereign signal. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There's some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Well, I guess you're free. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. <laughs> ah! You enjoyed that, Commander. Only slightly. <laughs> Intel report. It's a codex. And now I will save again because I'm paranoid of reaching a point of no return. But why is there a thing outside we can't reach? Wait, what? I thought there was a door access. Oh, well. Oh, that's right. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. This doesn't do anything to the story. Immediately, at least. My Prothean mind will understand this. Will it explode too?
wants to talk about that. This is not good. Rachne or Reaper? You are not Saren. Oh. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond oh. your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Yeah. The ship. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. I don't stand alone. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Can and will. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. You built them. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Why are you doing What do you this? want from us? Slaves? Resources? Fun? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent. Free of all weakness, you cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Who created Where did you? Where you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. Ah, so we you're just a flip-flopping dipshit. years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. And there are more of you? Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Well, guess what, dude? I'll You're stop not even you. not alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. trouble what's wrong hit me joker that ship's sovereign it's moving i don't know what you did down there but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half it's coming your way and it's coming hard you need to wrap things up in there fast this console's been disabled orders command we're done let's here. head to the breeding facility joker can pick us up after we set the nuke Kind of makes me kind of want to go to the exterior if our next goal is at the breeding grounds. Contact. Powering up. Let's see. We've also haven't had access to cell block unless we've already been there. 
Yeah, we've been there. God damn it. Be careful turning from your position, Diego. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Alenko, head them off. Hold them. Damn it, I can't go back. Well, at least that makes my decision for now. worse I can always redo a save and go to the exterior but at the same time we're getting to the point of super decisions and I kind of don't want to roll them back turret control we definitely went ahead there Rockets do such damage. Especially, oh yeah, because they have armor, pe or the diddly deed penetration. They have shield penetration bypass. That's kind of stupid if you ask me. get out of here. Still kind of annoyed that I can't go back to the exterior. Makes me feel like I missed stuff. Should have known that going to the private lab was a bit of a jumping of the gun. Also kind of wish that I could rename save so that I could better know which one goes where. Disable this turret. We don't use these at all. Look out, they follow us up.
once again, just hope, just hope, just hope that the game didn't lock me out of certain choices I could make. Make a billion saves, make a billion saves. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. And now the sound's dead on like uneven prime. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Landing site, destroy final AA gun. Ah, they out. did. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Once again, I ask, pray to God. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? I read the you. The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never I'm coming to help you. Rendezvous point in time. Normandy, pick them up. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long <laughs> as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Good idea. Up to the AA tower. Move. Okay. Uh to the Yeah, to the A tower. This way. Wonder how many things affect this goddamn mission. Like if Caden was the one to set up the nuke, would it go faster? There's just like so many things that I I worry about, but hey, replay value. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding gap all over the how bad is it? Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What? What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! As you wish, Williams. Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! I'm going to get Caden, because he's with the Alien General. I'm sorry, Ashley. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Don't give in. Stand strong. For the name of Williams. Ah, fuck, I just lost a goddamn ally, a companion. 
sure I didn't use her much, but damn it. Oh, who knows? Maybe there's a split second I can do something again, like once again. Is there a way to save them both? I don't think so. Great, audio's gone. Need to prime again. Goddamn Saren's a biotic. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. So make me understand. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction? It's not that simple. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. And you'll sub become but subservient we even while Reapers, probably never getting, useful, getting to live anyway. how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. But it's not You're working, is Sovereign it? Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable... Or he could be screwing with you and giving you that false positives so you think you're safe. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Geth. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. And the Conduit? Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. You are indoctrinated. The Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Join Together me. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. How can you do this? You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way. Is the only way any of us will survive. 
I'm forging an alliance between us they don't and the care universe, about alliances. between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. Yeah, you're but totally you indoctrinated. Do my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. You've led to the death of one of my own. You don't need to die. Really? Okay, good. He's, it's not the end in. I've seen that pose before. I punched him because he looked away. Fly away, little man. wondering because we were actually fighting him for that for a bit goodbye Ashley sorry I couldn't save you too but I also wanted to save the general Straight from orbit. That does not look like 20 kiloton. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? She was a good soldier. Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? Don't blame yourself. It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. Don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. No duh. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Do it. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. And this time we don't have the loving running commentary of Ash Williams. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. We've seen these before. Oh hey, it's the stock sound effect again. I wonder what Prothean memes were like. Oh hey, another stock sound effect. I like pointing them out. It just interests me. It's like, man, I wonder where I can get that stock sound effect. Incredible. I I never thought the images would be so intense. We've been through this I once need a before. Moment to collect myself. This is important. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Anything what about else? The conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! I've never heard that name before. I am not surprised. Ilos is in a region of space accessible only through the Mu Relay, but the Mu Relay was lost thousands of years ago. Nobody knows where it is. Mu, how do you lose a yeah. mass relay? It fly away? Its original coordinates would place it deep inside the Terminus systems. Ah. Unfortunately, a star in one of those nearby systems went Nova roughly 4,000 years ago. The shockwave sent the relay trillions of kilometers off course. Then the dust and the radiation from the exploding star engulfed that entire region in a dense nebula cloud. Finding any object in space is difficult. Finding the Mu relay inside a nebula cloud is virtually impossible. It would take decades. We don't have decades. If nobody's ever been there, how did you recognize Ilos from my visions? 
I recognize some of the landmarks from the photos yeah, and vids I'd seen during my her research. Her species lives a long time. I know of Ilos. Yeah, I Ilos is like where it is. four. <laughs> four of her species ago. Are you saying it's hopeless? I am afraid so. Unless you somehow find the coordinates for the Mew Relay, then it would be possible to... Oh. But God, do you have sorry. the potential of losing the two crewmates exhausting. on I that mission? You could lose Rex, and you are forced to lose someone. Are you okay? Dr. Chakwas should take a look this at This is me. a repeat. That will not be necessary. I just need some We're done rest. here. Commander, Dismissed. there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Do it. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Hardly a success. Sovereign is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. We've got bigger problems. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw a mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. It is accurate. Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. <laughs> you need proof? Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Uh, in the real world scenario, they're probably right. But this is greater than that. But damn it. Lost one of my people. God damn it. Now I'm worried that someday choosing between Tally and Garrus might appear. Anything you need, Commander? About Williams. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. <laughs> you and me both. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? I vowed to do better. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, sir. Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. And tactical appraisal. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. <laughs> They're old, all right. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're going to need a bigger boot, Commander. <laughs> That's we'll a good line. Time, I like that line. Commander? We're going to need a bigger boot, sir. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. It's kind of weird that they don't get any new, like, information stuff. Conversational input. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Are you okay? You look much better. Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed You're with You're in good hands. I've been thinking about Saren. 
I actually feel a little sorry for him now. So do I. He's become a slave to the Reapers and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Also, or I just gotta say, I love the reverse Darth Vader there. Where... I was like, join me, Saren. Whatever Saren's reasons As opposed may have to the been, bad guys. Well, now. he did say join me. He like, Counteroffer, you join me. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Indeed. Tell me more about you. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, <laughs> and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. <laughs> We're short-lived. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. We don't take time for granted. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Intimidating? You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. <laughs> you could have asked. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. Yeah, fair enough. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Hmm. Me or the beacon? I want to believe that. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit. Your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. I hope I'm not romancing you. Grown beyond oh, no. that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I wasn't sure if... Are you interested in me, Shepard? <laughs> I just want to be friends. I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I knew the game would throw romance at me. It takes very specific character. It's like in video games, I romance under one of two situations: either gameplay mechanics, or if I actually like the character. Why oh, you're alive? It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. I'll miss her. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. <laughs> Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Rex. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Fair enough. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Agreed. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. 
Shepard. Commander, I wanted to thank you. We've been through this conversation. What for, Garrus? For everything. I've thought a lot about and I've been thinking. I realized you escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. Gotta skip well, through this to see if there's anything else. The people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me. I'm glad you Don't see worry, it, Commander. I will. Commander, I wanted to. God I damn it! Time for this. Is that a glitch? Oh. Goodbye, Commander. Is there a glitch that causes Looking him to repeat supplies? that a million times? Let's see what you bet, Commander. That's honestly what it feels like. Also, I just realized the game had the balls to kill off our only Krogan. If I didn't have the charm and maybe the intimidation, I think hey, it's possible. Do you need something? See you later. But yeah, I hope that Garrus isn't glitched into a thank you routine. Great, now I kind of want to look it up. Is Garrus glitched? If you do his character mission. That would suck. That would suck if he's glitched. But at the same time, I also just realized you had to choose between the two humans. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. After that, I think we should head to the Citadel. Let's see, journal. And we just need more League medallions for that. We're gonna head back to the Citadel and then Commander, that one. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir, I don't know if I could have done it. Pray you never have to, son. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander, I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know. Are you all right, Joker? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. But obviously, this being the first big decision has to have some kind of impact. It has to mean something. I didn't even see all of Vermeer. We're heading back to the Citadel. Something had to have happened there in the meantime. Some new characters walking around, maybe. Who knows? And besides, it would be a nice way to offload the Salarians. At the same time, I don't trust the Citadel now because it was made by the Reapers! Oh god, are, are the Keepers like many Reapers? Will my side quest to scan the Keepers with that one guy turn out to be like a really important thing? I wonder what the character select screen is going to look like now. Is Williams just going to be forever? Locked away. A reminder of my sins. Yep. A reminder of my sins indeed. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. I would make like an interior Love. crocodile alligator is joke. Exo Presley has the deck. But I'm still getting over the death of Williams. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is huh. finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off. Ha ha ha. It's almost like when you're not sacrificing people to a plant, good things happen. But even further... Oh, what was I going to say? I was going to say a thing, but then I forgot. Hello, Commander. Show me what I'll open do. the rare stock. Ah, man, I can't. I can't think. Grenade upgrade, metagel upgrade. God, I have so much money.
Wait, I think this is the... Like... The... Yeah, the N7. Like, uh... Iconic armor, I guess you could say. But yeah. But yeah, other... Uh, oh, we leveled up from all that, too. I'm gonna go in on fitness. Stupid fucking bastards. Oh yeah, I think I was ranting about how this place was made by the Reapers, how the Keepers are like mini Reapers, and that uh, scanning the Keepers might very well be a good thing in the long run, maybe. Because if we know more about the Keepers, it's possible that... Like, it's possible that... Bibbidi-bop. Like, uh, in the future, my side quest to help the guy scan the Keepers, and then help the Volus guy be like, No, your friend doesn't want to kill you. You idiot. Might lead to actual discoveries around the Keepers and have an impact, maybe. Take me to medical, and I'll wander around down there for any new characters or opportunities or anything. We still never really found anything about Bangs, yes, did we? Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you of have. Course. Another medic gel upgrade, I'll take that. That's another reason to come here. Upgrades. Are you just standing there or like are you a character or are you just standing there? You're just standing there. We'll head into flux, see if there's anything going on there. Man, Jesus, they had the balls to lump up two potential companion deaths on one bloody mission. Hey, good to see another human. Doesn't seem like there's anything really. Commander, thanks again for all your help. Does not appear to be much here at all. It's like that one set of side quests, then the gambling cheater, and that's it. But yeah, I'm honestly expected to get press ganged into another interview. Oh, sure, I can return that. Really? Thanks. Hasn't worked well since I bought it. Hey, are you refunding his stuff? <laughs> I wonder if it's Turian racism. Like, is that human just an asshole? I guess maybe you might have, like, an yes, upgrade hidden in there. Yes, you need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good. G Geth Armory License? <laughs> what? You serious? Yes, human. You need something, eh? Now I need to look oh, at non-human armors. Let's see... Turian. For my pal. That looks, like, pretty good. Anything else? Hmm. Overall, kind of meh. A little bit more damage protection little bit more shields, but uh, less than, like, round about half of the tech biotic. That's just not a an upgrade worth it to me. But this Turian. Here you go, dude. Oh, you look badass. Let's see. He has a medical. 
You can have a kinetic exoskeleton plugged in. What about me? Get a new one. And then a kinetic exoskeleton. Upgrade myself. Anything about this place? Can we talk about that diddly do guy in long last? I wonder if that's meant to be hair or a sorry like tendrils? Tally always says that when we come here. Go away. Let me, let me scream. I wonder if there's a quest for sitting across from the Asari stripper. I could see Bioware doing that, but I don't want to do it. Alright, with the wards done, I guess there is the alley, but nothing's in the alley. But we might as well look in the alley, because you never know. Also, why is there even an alley? Actually, come to think of it. If, eh, I was going to say... How could they modify if this is Prothean technology, even though Prothean technology is based on Reaper technology? Hippity hoppity boo boo boo. Alright, take me to Presidium. Embassies. We'll check the human side. And then we'll just, like, walk around, see if there's anything about anywhere. I wonder if the VI was made by us, or if she's been here. Krogan on Vermeer? Hard to believe, Commander. Good thing those Salarians were there to back up your report. Between the visions and your warnings about the Reapers, the Council's starting to think you're a little unstable. And what do you think? What about you? I think you get results. As long as you keep getting the job done, there's nothing to worry about. Then he walks away and disappears. Yes, Commander? Vermeer. Do you know anything about Vermeer? Sorry, Shepard. I've never even heard of it before all this. You'll have to go out there and check it out for yourself. Okay. Where can I find Admiral? Last I heard. Is there anything else, Commander? <laughs> Last I, I heard, he's still alive. Totally not dead. Like, even after completing the quest, they don't update that. Please, I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. The Earth-clad Spectre has returned to speak with me. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Still kind of baffled that they didn't update the Koha Kohoku dialogue option on the captain. You'd think that he would at least be like, sad to hear that he died. Look around just in case there's anything new. I don't think much will change, but I'd rather not risk it. Hello, my dude. Anything to say? Shepard. I'll be going. Goodbye, Commander. Shepard, what can I do for you now? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. That's Mr. Commander to you. And now there's nothing over here. I swear the consort's gonna end up dead one of these days. Murdered by a keeper. Where do you think creepers came from? They evolved from their cousins, the keepers! You've heard of Thorian Creeper. Now get ready for Thorian Keeper. I'm not even going to bother going into the consort's room because it's going to be locked regardless. Just looking around for 
Any new possibilities? Then again, maybe I could go into the room and there might be something outside of the consort's room that I could actually talk about. But there doesn't seem to be many quests available. Commander. Tell me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so. Unique grenade upgrade. Give. All right, better damage, less shields, and less tech. I like my shields, so that's gonna be a no. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. And yeah, wish it would take me back to the overall like store screen and then I could back out again. Hey Barla, anything else? Greet. How can this humble servant be of use? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Personally, I wish that some of the characters that appear early on would have things to say about the goings on of the future. Kind of understand why not, but uh I just feel like maybe the actions of my past should have caught up to me by now. And interesting things. I wonder if Emily Wong will appear again. Cause let's go to the Citadel Tower. And from there, I guess we'll- I'd love we'll... to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. I'd rather not. How so? The Normandy is built for stealth, not combat. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. If it comes to a fight, I'd prefer a flotilla ship. It's easier to trust what you've worked on yourself. True that. And personally, I just not, I'd rather not be in a fight. But yeah, let me check my notes or my assignments. Feels like we're entering the end game with how few side quests we're getting now. So yeah, we'll double check the systems, see if there's anything I might have missed. Around and about. Before heading to the final place, chasing down the conduit. And man, there's nothing here except those upgrades I bought. Take me to the C-Sec. Kind of funny that, despite the fact that C-Sec is like right underneath the embassy. Well, embassies. Admiral Kahoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, ah, has passed go. away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Batarians died of natural causes. Natural Kahoku causes. Who is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. I wonder why they kept Cerberus under wraps. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Off we go. So I think next would be Novaria that we would need to do. Let's see. We've been to Seoul because of the moon. Exodus. Asgard, Utopia. We've already been all through there. The Artemis Tau, Sparta, Macedon, Athens, Gnosis. I don't remember a Gnosis in there. Maybe Athens? I forget. I know Sparta. I remember there being three in the Artemis Tau cluster. Maybe one appeared on a mission and I just forget. And of 
course, check the asteroid belts. For any asteroids. I don't think it really does that much, but I like to do it. So if anything, it's nice to get that squared away. Armini. None of these were even landable. Interesting. I know Macedon. Maybe Athens? I wonder if that appeared because there's a quest we can do there. Or if it was like a moving quest, like the, uh, the asteroid space station. That was hijacked by the Batarians. Man, it would be cool to go to a planet surface like that. And again, nothing landable. But I know we've been to Macedon or Sparta. So there's no reason. 86. Plutus, Antius. Caucus and Ferenta. Dis? I don't remember a Plutus. I do not remember a Plutus. Either I better be contacted. What the hell? Then there was also that Warlord site that we couldn't get in that one place. I like, couldn't get into. No, we've already been here. Plutus. Why do I not remember Plutus? I thought it was the other one that we've been to. I thought we already been to Caucus. Caucus? Ferenta, Dis. Or did we go to Plutus, discover something, and then head to Caicos? None of these planet names ring a bell. Maybe we came here because... Let's see... Nope, never mind, I remember you. We've definitely already been there. Gemini Sigma only had two, but double check. You never know. Argos Row, still the only one, still the only one. Maroon Sea, still three. Voyager Cluster, Yanksk, Amazon, Columbia. Yep. Armstrong Nebula. Yep. Kepler Verge. Newton. Herschel. And that's that. Hawkinita. Just Century. Just Century. Century Omega. Just Vermeer. That leaves Attican Beta. I think we've been to Hercules. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, we've already been to Attica Beta. It's Horsehead Nebula. Fortuna, Strinus, and Pax. I don't know if we've been. I think we've been to. Yeah, we've been to Strinus. I, right as I clicked her head off, I realized. Yeah, we've already been to Strinus. But hey, maybe we'll be picked up by a side quest. Nope. Well, let's move off to Pax. This is the last quest on our docket, so I feel like we're getting the end of the game soon. Matriarch's Writings, we've already completed that. I'm pondering if I should end the game here, or not end the game, but end the stream here. 
because we're probably probably done with the majority of the side quests. And if this is anything like Ferris was, it's going to be a whole mini hub that leads into multiple quests. I'm just coming down here to see if there's anything interesting in you. Looking for supplies? Let's see. Mildly worse. Mildly worse, mildly worse. But I, I, I. It just feels like we're entering the end game. But I, but I. It's a Friday, screw it. Let's head in to potentially the final main thing that we can do before shit really kicks off. I knew we should have come here before we went to goddamn Vermeer. Off we go. Oh hey, we get to land on a world like this. Novaria is a small frozen terrestrial world. Barely habitable by conventional definitions, it is privately charted by chartered by the Novaria Development Corporation, who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Given Novaria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. So it's the new Area 51, but more corporation driven. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. <laughs> Normandy. Council business. We got a specter. We will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. Impound my vessel, I'll oh, rain fun. for you. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> Joker is a fun little bastard. Alright, before we head off the dock, we're gonna save. God, once I save over my last Vermeer save, it's gonna fucking kick me in the balls again. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. I just realized. We're the red Love. team. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Fuck are you? Security camera. Last time I was on a dock like this, Geth blew up my greeting party. That's far enough. We'll cooperate. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Who are you? You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm a, I'm a council specter I'm here. I'm Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. I'm with the council. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. You're not taking my guns. Citadel Authority supersedes yours. Easy, people. Let's not start a fight. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. Captain Matsuo, stand down. <laughs> we confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. Uh -huh. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. You first. Get a load of this. Uh, just lots of up. I haven't seen that kind of thing before. Oh. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. 
I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Thanks for getting us through. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? I heard there were geth. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Is that decent even what I asked? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ah, ago. Ah, fuck! Prometheia. Saren's aide is here. I need to talk. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. I'll need directions. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where's Analeas? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Why so many guards? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I may have to step on I can't toes. have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Because it would take a thousand years. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. Commander, it might be wise to bring Dr. Tassoni along. She knows her brother better than any of us. Fair assessment. I'll head back and swap uh, Tally for to Sony. God, this is, I think this will be the first time I've taken to Sony with me, which will mean I'll definitely need to apply a shit ton of points. Gotta enter the Normandy Stand and leave the Normandy. Decontamination in progress. This is a habitable port. Why do we need to decontaminate? Sorry, Tally, but I think this is for the best. Garrus, I like to have uh, uh, at my back. Equalizing interior pressure with ex First things first. Max out that. Your electronics is hidden behind some of that. Stasis might be nice. Get these out of the way a bit. I don't really care about barrier though. I'll go all the way for master lift warp. What is warp again? Wreaks havoc on subatomic it weakens armor and inflicts damage over time. Cut in the air effect. What about singularity? Project a sphere of dark energy that creates an intense mass effect field. Nearby enemies and objects will be drawn into the singularity, unable to escape its gravitational pull. Level all these up, I guess. We have maximum ability for you. And then I'll work on your electronics just so that you can have a bit more that then I guess all that's left is your barrier and stasis exterior atmosphere logged the commanding officer is ashore Exo Presley has the deck Thank you for the suggestion, Garrus. Because I probably wouldn't have thought about it. I'm too attached to my normal team of Tally and Garrus. Because I'm approached. Uh, approached? I forget my exact thought. Like the word that I'm looking for, but I am drawn. I am drawn to those two for some reason. Alright, before we head in proper, save. Thankful they didn't go off. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. Independent. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, 
You are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. Bitch, I'm a specter. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly, friendly administrative, administrative staff is always available. Staff. Thank you, and in Huh, so it looks like I'm gonna be leaving this plate. Fuck off. Elevator to hotel. To synthetic insights. Enjoy your stay. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. <laughs> oh, merchant. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. You heard already. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. I'll see into it, but I'm this a good one person. Has I'm a, very a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Smuggling, in other words. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Contest. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. And the recipient? I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. See it my way. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. Hmm. That other grows restless from the delay. Hmm. I'll do it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? What are you selling? Could I buy something now? Nah. Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Usually just typical things. Ooh, better armor! And back to this color. It's always this color. Great, now I have to go down. Well, maybe. Mm. Back to the ship. And we're no longer red team. We're mostly gray team now. Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. Yep. I do not like this place. Too many dark secrets. I had, wait a minute, was he selling? Maybe he was just selling armors? Because, yeah, for a moment I was like, wait, was, did, he, did he have guns? Because you're not allowed to bring guns here. Okay, good, we don't have to go into the ship. See if I can read. Noveria smuggling. You're, uh, you covered Opold's package. It appears to be a powerful experimental weapon mod. Bring it back to him at his store. A weapon mod. That kind of implies that they have a weapon. Because if they're a bounty hunter mercenary, a Krogan at that, wonder if I would want to bring. Rex to talk to the Krogan in here. But at the same time, I don't think the Krogan really get along all that well sometimes. The 
sooner we are off this frozen world, the better. Yeah, better have a damn good story for me, Opold. I don't like doing potentially renegade things. Makes me want to be even more renegade. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? <laughs> yes. Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. Oh, I got an achievement. The Completionist. Light, Complete the majority you. of the game. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. You needed Could you me. have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess <laughs> the, the discomforting ring Discomforting of ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's better. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. If it gives me renegade, I'm just I'll have to. This one okay. awaits your return. Like something has to happen. You're the Spectre, right? The managers warned us about you, Spectre. Hmm. There's a side off room. And again, synthetic insights and hotel. Don't make us regret letting you keep those guns. The answer to your question is don't make me use them. I'm not the threat here. All of you are. I'm gonna see if I can make my way into the hotel to look things over. See if there's any quests to gather there, and then synthetic insights. I wonder, Garrus, is that like drilled into the back of your head, or...? Well, I don't think so. It's just like, uh, it's super connected to your suit. This place is full of shady fucks. I'm gonna say it before I talk to any of you. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Have we met? Do you know who I am? That's not what I said. Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract from, him from, from your, your my, real my real intentions. Why can't you do this? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. <laughs> I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Hmm. And why me? What's this I don't know about? anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. Hmm. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Hmm. This is illegal. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. And you will be enforcing copyright. You think copyright. that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? That's no excuse. What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. Lorik Kuhn. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Who are you? Who might you be? Lorik Keen. 
For the moment, I'm the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. An odd answer. For the moment, Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. An intriguing coincidence. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Card working. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Napak. And then the How did you get a pass? Yeah. I'm a manager. Most executives on this area are free to come and go as they will. Well, I'm interested. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside. Maybe I can tell them. I can't do if that. If I have to kill the guards, I'm afraid I can't help you. There's still the law around here. True enough. Though I hasten to point out that Ms. Matsuo disapproves of outside contracting. So I can talk to her. If you change your mind, I will remain... What sort of a... Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin strip. Full benefits, of course. Oh, sure. The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacation, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting... Can I help you? <laughs> Can't even talk to him. I'll wander around a bit. Wonder if I can... Did it add it to me? Yep, Lord Quinn. Gianna suggested you speak with him. I don't think that they did. Dorman. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a code ring. Don't hang up. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on the barrier now. I can't talk long. Beat it. Wonder if I could have delivered Ah, oh, that's probably one thing I could have done. Could have delivered it directly there. I didn't even really mean to do that. But hey. Wonder what that updated. I'll quickly check in with head of security and tell her about that side contracting, if at all possible. If not, I might come back and accept the mission before I head into security insight or a uh, synthetic insights. I love that the club music just dies as we slowly go down the elevator. God, there's so many goddamn ele elevators in this goddamn place. Uh, what? Oh, good. I was like, did he know that I was talking to people? Did he lock off the elevator? Let's go talk to security. I apologize for my rudeness when you arrived. I meant no disrespect. No problem. I have a responsibility to protect the safety and privacy of corporations here. The arrival of an Alliance warship was unexpected. Yeah, forget no about it. No harm was done. That is a generous attitude. My thanks. 
Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I can't do anything. Why are you still here? Are you guarding All my of ship? the companies have secrets. Some of them deal in things that are not quite legal. Having a Spectre here makes them nervous. Analea Sama is buried under petitions to kick you off world. Hmm. So protecting Normandy. Then you're actually protecting Normandy from the companies. I am protecting them from themselves. They do not have the personnel or training to assault an Alliance frigate. Port security. There are guards everywhere. I am sure Parasini-san gave you the ultra-special blob. Everyone <laughs> wants to be protected from everyone else. But everyone also thinks they have a special right to kick over everyone else. You keep them all in line. So you have to keep them from getting too eager. Most of my job is diplomacy. Two corps start yelling at each other, my people walk in, flash some ceramic, and they start talking civilly. If there is anything this job has taught me, it's how to be impartial. And then personal. Tell me about yourself. You first. I'm just a security guard. I heard that there were no human specters. How did you get that job? I'm a test case. I'm a test case. The council wants to see if humans are ready to rejoin them. There have been a few stories on the extranet about that. People debating whether or not the Alliance will be given another chance. I served in the Marines for a decade, mustered out and went private sector. I was under fire a few times, so I ended up leading this detail. Goodbye. I'll be moving Very on. good, Commander. Please stay out of trouble. Get out of here. I thought I could tell her about the... Maybe I have to actually accept the goddamn mission, but he gives you the information. I'll save before I go into Synthetic Insight itself. I already disabled its security. So we'll head in. Well, I'll save, then we'll head in and see if I can paragon my way past the guards. Maybe flash them. Hey. Well, he, your head of security might not like this. You could lose your job for this little extra contract work. Now we're in the Vermeer save area. Spectre, right? Yes. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can I do for you today? Hmm. Local news. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's a problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeus. And a matriarch came through. Peak 15. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. Synthetic what insights. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zainalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet link. So no off-world lawyers come in on it. And, uh, Benizia. You know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. Personal question. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. Hmm. I need to leave this station. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Hmm. You have one, right? Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. Hmm. I have to go. You need anything, I'll be here. See if I can summon. 
temporarily closed. Well, I guess I'll save again and talk to the manager. He'll probably be a hard ass and not want me to have full access to what I require. Which means I'll probably have to go the other way. Actually, bash down the security a bit. Just so you know, you better not try and kill me. I'm done with that. How can I help you? Lab facilities. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Peak 15. I hear there was an accident on Peak 15. We're aware of the rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. Despite the All fact that's never happened before. their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible free talk. Weather, you're joking. What kind of weather cuts modern communication? A blizzard is sweeping the Scotty Mountains right now. Between the cloud cover and heavy snow, the satellite uplinks are cut. Who has offices on Peak 15? What corporations work on Peak 15? Binary Helix has leased the entire complex. And you're ignoring the problem. So, everyone shut up and keep your heads down? Loose lips sink third quarter profits. You have a more blunt way of speaking than is common here, Commander. And corporations. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Elanis Risk Control. Your guards Control. work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary, Binary Helix. Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. And finally, Synthetic Haven't Insights. Have I seen Synthetic Insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. And finally, where is Analeus? I'd like to speak to Analeus. One moment, please. Mr. Analeus? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. And you better be careful, sir. Because I do, I am willing to work with the other guy. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. You've read my file. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Isn't lack of oversight Are you risky? telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Yes. Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Synthetic Insights. Why is Synthetic Insights closed? I have placed Laura Keene, the manager of the Hanshan office, under internal review. I cannot comment further at this time. Matriarch Benenzai. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Hmm. Define personal escort. What do you escort. mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of Mainly a person. Mainly Asari commandos. Asari commandos. Commandos, you didn't think that odd. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. And what sort what of cargo? What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Hmm. I need to see her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Peak 15 problem. Is there some problem on Peak 15? An area of severe weather has cut off contact. Things will return to normal. And finally, Saren. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? 
One of your Spectre compatriots? X. He's a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is he developing weapons here? Is Binary here? Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you jetted about. I no longer... Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a past to leave Hanshan's. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I can see that. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeus. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Very well. All right, then I'll go to the bar, accept the mission from him. Then I'll go and see if I can actually finally relay the information of... Uh, on the side business work by the guard to the captain of the guard. Honestly surprised there wasn't a renegade option to shoot him in the head and go on with it. That seems like it would be the answer to most questions. I'm sorry, but we can't do that. Shoot him. Walk in anyway. Again. Hmm. About what your problem. I've been thinking over your difficulties with Analeas. Indeed. We need each other. So if I help you, you'll help me. Yes. You need to get into the garage. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. I'm interested. You have a plan? I do. He's paying them under the table. I'll He's figure something out. I'll numbers. focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? <laughs> All right, now we'll suffer through the next bit of elevator by going back to the head of securities to see if I can tell her about it because why mention it if it is not like, like maybe it's more to be like oh you don't need to worry about killing them too much because they're crooked and on the take while also invading the office of a guy who has been accused of being on the take hilarious that but at the same time it's not a very paragon thing to do so again like it's one thing to say Hey, and the guard on this station aren't supposed to do that work for someone else and then like leave the captain of the guard out of it it's like one thing to say it's policy and be like oh yeah okay it makes sense I guess that it wouldn't be explicitly oh yeah go to them but since they name dropped her specifically about not liking the guard to do extra work while on work makes me feel like you should be able to tell her it's like this is base they're gone huh that's interesting wonder if they're going to appear up there all this could have been solved if they just didn't have this damn elevator Maybe a set of stairs. Well, at least that cuts down on wandering off to synthetic insight. And really, if Analeus has any problems with it, it's just like... You could have just helped me with my mission, but no, you had to be a corporate little bastard. You killed guards! Well, they were acting against company policy, or at least guard policy. 
why there's so many goddamn elevators in this goddamn place. I wonder what he thinks. Did that goddamn elevator just open up for him? I thought it was closed. Knock, knock, bitches. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Kill in, let me in. Laura Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. You're here illegally. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. But then why ex- what? Why? That's the question, why are you attacking me? You just said, pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend you didn't- we didn't see you. So why the fuck are you attacking me? This boggles the mind. Is this another glitch? You didn't see us, we didn't see you. By the way, we're gonna still fight you. That, that makes no sense. Why the hell did they fire? Again, just like they said. Might have to reload a save. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. <laughs> nope. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Hey. Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. They didn't give me a choice. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you to pieces. I gave you all choices. Maybe this is part of that. This might just be part of it. This just might be part of it. Annoying. Overall, but okay, fine, I guess. It, like, if they were gonna shoot at me anyway, it feels weird that the the like the words they used. How about this? We didn't see you. You didn't see me. And then they fire me anyway. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Must be Analo Analyse's thugs. Probably Analyse's thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Hmm. Are you gonna bring both Keen and Analyse down? Throw this company into human hands? Anything you want to say? Someone murdered our people in the synthetic insights office. But it doesn't seem to be like. a way to not kill them. I'm gonna. 
quickly Google. want to know, is there a way to not kill? I'll say it before talking to any of you bastards. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. And why are you why here? Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Hmm. Corruption. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. And your job? You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. And finally, you can't do Why this Why don't yourself. you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. <laughs> you think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I need Keen's pass. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Hmm. Peak 15 You gave me the company line about Peak 15. What's the truth? Before the weather closed in, Hanshan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. And that's all you know? That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. All right, I'll help you. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Once again, I'm just kind of amused that the Paragon option still led to me shooting them with a moral Always compass. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Testify against Analeas. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. You'd be a hero. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. I am full Paragon, apparently. Kind of funny that there's, like, an achievement, I think. Maybe I thought there was an achievement. I don't know. For getting like 75% or something like that. Upper, th upper like third or fourth Paragon. Or maybe that's just me super excited that I actually got all the Paragon points that I wanted. At, or not Paragon points, but charm points that I feel like it's an achievement in and of itself. Somebody murdered our boys in there. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Fear the power of Paragon. Why is it a three-stage broom building? I did it. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? I convinced Kewen. It took some persuasion, Keen. but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. 
I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be alright. I thought you'd be happier. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. Yeah. <laughs> While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. Thank you very much. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. <laughs> this is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. Lol. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, multiple, Commander. Multiple Bailey music is playing over each other. See, Analeus, maybe if you actually helped me, I would have helped you. I work on a multi-tiered system. Mostly, it's if you're a good person, I'll help you, but everybody here is a bad person. So it's mostly the ones that ingratiate themselves to me or are the least vile. And honestly, I didn't see all that much about... Uh... Keen. I heard the administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? Yes. <laughs> he was corrupt. <laughs> Most people here are. I wish you could take them all down. So what can I do for you today? Well, goodbye. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I have a pass. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Don't you point your gun at me. Yep, Gaff. Like the moment that was like, I, I got a better look at it. Why is it camo colored? Let's see, these are what the major. Oh, I thought I killed. Oh, you were hiding in your buddy's body. Where are these things? Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. I've already been once again confirming that these missions all have their own introduction to the creepy crawlies. Every single time I override a Vermeer save, it feels like I'm overriding Ashley Williams' life. Uh, this world's a level one hazard. I don't think they said that on the... Overview of the planet. Let's take a look. Another... Linear planet. I love these. Planets that don't have large cliffs and mountains. And ones that don't, like, overuse the Mako are my favorite. The kind of free roam planets are kind of a waste to me at this point. A crate. What's in the crate? God damn it, so many things. Yes, 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 I have five billion things. Eliminate all that doesn't seem decent. Lots of frickin' sniper rifles. I guess the game is slated to push uh, the weapons your class is better with your way. So basically a soldier would get any that they really could get could get any. Why so many Naganata and Harpoon? I don't use those. Nice. 
annihilate some of the armors I don't need. Get rid of some of the... Five billion tungsten. This is probably where all my inventory problems are. I'll annihilate the proton rounds because I don't use them. Minor shield by and why do I get so many polonium? God damn it, why? I don't even remember what I had in there. Just want to get rid of polonium bullets, because I don't use them. I'm go ahead and save, because I cleared inventory a bit. Kind of annoying that you have to do that a decent amount of time, but eh. Like, a decent amount of times. I wonder what kind of, uh, turret that was. Like, Geth turret, or... You're either oh well, what? Armus, you're you're clearly not a colossus. You're just an armature. billion of these things. Don't really have much use for any of you. Get rid of the shotgun. I'll take all the rest. Also, ouch, we don't have our helmets on out here in the freezing cold. That doesn't seem wise. This is a level one hazard zone, and you don't have your helmet on? Do I have my helmet on? It would be kind of weird if Tissoni's Tiso just like, I'll create my own helmet through biotics. Probably. down this tunnel so far. But there is something big around the corner somewhere. Ah, turret. Medical, I don't think I need it. and winding, zipping and zinding. Well, thank you for pointing yourself out. Don't fall off. These are your cliffs that we can't climb. And 
Nobody noticed them putting Geth heavy turrets on the path. Really, all this is going to do is make sure this planet can't have anything less than council oversight for the foreseeable future. And that's if we all survive. Well, but my company wants to do morally ambiguous things. You mean illegal things. You were just saying you want to do illegal things. Block the path in. So let's head in. have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. At this point, nothing below level 10 is going... Well, I didn't swap like that. That's me, game. Let's take a look. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. We'll need to get the reactors back online. Polonia... All of these can go suck it. I have my upgrades that I'm going to use for the most part. You better Why be on my side. Because they, they want knew. to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. I said to security. So we can steal all their shit. I think we have plenty of scram rails for all of our stuff. Snowblind rounds can get bent, and we have plenty of explosive rounds. Turians don't like the cold, Shepard. I mean, you are kind of a uh, reptilian in nature, at least from exper experience, from appearance. Kind of odd that a lot of the security on the planet is Turian, then. And that there's snow here. reach to hit my nose. What the hell's going on here? Are they gonna drop a Geth Colossus on us? Fucking Rackney. They're trying to. So they didn't even need Cerberus to. What were those things? Rackney. Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. I already know because I've ran into these fucking things before. To Miracore, or to the garage. We'll gra glance around this place before I head to the core, because I think that's the best place to start. Harpoon can get bent, and neither of these are level 10, so I don't care. Well, we're heading to the Oh, we already came from there. 
I'm gonna backtrack a bit because I want to go into this room here. I misread. <laughs> Fucking Rachna. I've already ran into... Th That's one downside to doing side quests. I already know what these things are, plus the name gives it away. And they can come from the goddamn vents. Head to the core. Get the VI back online. Oh, that at this rate though, it's probably an AI. Especially because it has a name, Mira, and it sounds familiar. A backup power system, Commander. It must be for the station's mainframe. The damage is not extensive. It could be repaired. I don't like the hear of screaming bugs. Not enough power for a start. <laughs> Excuse me. What, do I destroy this power junk? Oh, I open it. Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. That's what I tried. I hate the sound of screaming. Okay, now we can enter the core properly and I'm going alone. All right, memory core. I have it. I have the Omni Gel to fix this. It bitch. looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the station VI. You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place. This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? I'm a Spectre, Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. Where is Benezia? I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. Give me a damage report. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Main reactor. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. I'd say Emergency containment guidelines failure. Emergency suggests the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you have unleashed to sleep. How would I fix it? What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. And what landlines? What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases. This from entire the side, well, technically it's a side quest, but this when quest line protocols were could be its own video game if done correctly. The cabling was automatically ejected. How do I fix it? How do I reconnect the landlines? 
The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. The router for the landlines is on the roof of operations. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Final, your final Tell me logs. what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage one alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from laboratory pod gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage two alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation two breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage three alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shut down and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. Contaminants. What sort of contaminants escaped? Oh no, it's contaminants. I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Hmm. Hostile creatures. The creatures we've encountered here. Did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Let Only me guess. Executives of Binary Helix have if I did that bitch's clearance. quest to hack the guy, I would have gotten it. And then you're shut Why down. Why were you taken offline? In the event, Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes. My program and data are purged. They kill you. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database well, program. Log That's out. all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emer- Let's see. Roof, tram. I hate when that happens. Reactor. Agency containment procedures. I'm gonna head to the reactor Manual restart first. required. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. But yay, I have. Uh, now tin heels. Main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. I'll restart your ass. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Get the hell out of here. I'll take the Omni tool, bro. Goodbye, stalker. Help. are a bit too much alert main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency contain the AG3 fuel lines cut just a press of a button Something blew up. Let's take a look at this room. There's... Ah, it's a walkway. That's why it ends. Or does it? Oh, it just leads to an upper room. Why is it so big? Well, I did ask for level 10s. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. None of these are level 10, so they're going down. Well, I'm going to assume that we've done everything in this room because we fixed the fuel lines.
Mira Terminal. Online. How may I assist you? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. That's all I need. Right? Very well, Commander. Let me check my journal. Yeah, reactor's done. Logging you out. So we can't go to the tram, so we need to head to the roof, I'd suggest. I do not like this place. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. You don't need to remind me every single time I go in a goddamn elevator. I'm gonna have my gun ready because Rachni can come from anywhere. They already proved that with the vents. Ta da! So we have to worry about Rachni. We have to worry about Geth. and I are basically just biological reapers. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Use Stay alert. Being cold beats being dead. Damn bugs. Hmm, we'll take the armor, cause could be something. Alright, here we go. They were quite easy. Aside from the fact that this place was under attack. It's honestly a shock that nobody else managed to fix up this place. All you need is one mighty janitor. Honestly, that would be a funny thing for like to turn this into an original scenario. You play a janitor that works at this highly secretive lab adjointment thing. And then you're sent to this place because you need to go fix uh, and clean some stuff in that place before things then go down, kickstarting the plot. Now and entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Hey, it's the Eden Prime glitch again. They're locked in. The door could be finessed. It appears that the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Snowblind can go hell. We already have tons of inferno rounds anyway. We have lots of plating. None of these are level 10. Computer terminal. Control group loose in the They're in we can't escape. The tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the struck. Come out while you can. Bye bad. Oh hey. Stock sound effect. Jesus Christ, that gave me a lot of money. I mean, I am killing Rachni, but still. I don't think they balanced money at the end of the game. How much money do I have? Sure, sure, I'll take it all. I, even after all my heavy shopping, I have like three million. Also, that would explain how the Solarian died. Rachni got him. Oh, I thought that was a doorway. It's not a doorway. 
Take me. Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. Keep your eyes peeled. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. If I knew this was going to go down, I would have helped that Asari spy hack that Helix. I just realized something. They were cloning Krogan. The news said that Krogan people paid Binary Helix to fix the genophage problem. They did. And it led to their cloning. Okay, color me foreshadowed. It's a hot labs. I really should have seen it sooner, but Jesus. The Krogan are all clones for the most part. Captain. Stand down. Who are you? Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can they run a train? Can those things work a train's controls? <laughs> Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. He's smart. You're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. I'd like to know who you are. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. <laughs> the aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. At first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You did you well. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'll see what I'm I can not do. Let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Hmm. Aliens. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. Hmm. Venezia. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs. She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. The bugs came from the lab. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. <laughs> the hot labs. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Goodbye, Captain. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell, man the perimeter. Caught us by surprise. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. No problem. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Let's see if we can talk to the doctor. There's a shop, security, and then lots of shit to the secure lab. And the hmm, interesting. And there's even a diddly deed down. Can't access that terminal, so it's worthless to me. Sick scientists, that's not good. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? What? Your work. You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you study? What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. That was over my head. That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited <laughs> variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. 
calm. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Hmm. Benezia. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I already know. Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? <laughs> Fair enough. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestiae Alice from the University of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? <laughs> My apologies. Did I interrupt something? I was meditating. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. Yeah, goodbye. Sorry, I'll leave. Then I will return to my... Uncertain. I will Find all Prairie Mary alien council races, extinct races, and something else, but the I achievement went away. I am curious to know what you're doing here. I came to help. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively. I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer. <laughs> with I forced still have a cheer. Supply of equipment to sell. Show me what Let's you've got. Look. Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Fine enough by me. I probably wasn't gonna get much here anyway, because I have a lot of good stuff. I got an achievement out of that at least. Doctor. What? No! <sighs> Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? Hmm. The hot labs. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Where can I find is him? he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. Hmm. The situation. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. Yeesh. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. Benezi. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. Hmm, this lab. What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. <laughs> Fair enough. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. And you don't like it here? Not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. <laughs> Maybe we're paying for that now. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Ah, looks like I won't be able to get there easily. Just yet. Got a smoke? We're all out. Sorry, I don't smoke. Not in space, at least. I know you'd have a cure by now. What? What, what do you want? Sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. Are these people sick? What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. I could help. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. I fixed We her. reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. Horrible these three timing. were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I need more I to help you. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon. Yeesh. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. The forest bee is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Damn right I can't. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bio-weapons, Doctor. 
I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I can be... Is it dangerous in there? Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I can I'll be persuasive. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. How can I help these people? What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. All right. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. You do know that by making this bioweapon, then these people have been infected by that. Wait, I think I forgot to ask him about the actual stuff elsewhere. I got caught up in everything else. Oh yeah, because he is, this isn't... You're not the Olan guy. I want to talk to. Also, can I just say I don't like the ambient noise in this area? There's this sound that plays every once in a while that makes me feel like it's... Bloody bloody... Makes me feel like it's... Uh, I'm trying to think of the words while I'm also trying to process things. It makes it sound like that... Uh, like a, a phone is vibrating on a table without making an alarm sound. Captain. Something you need? I want to help, Dr. Cohen. I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. Let us risk We're it. not part of your defense plan. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. That's fair enough. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. Thank you for letting us try, I've got Captain. Work to do. You and me both. I mean, it is kind of fair to be skeptical around these scientists. Even if they say it's non-viable after a few minutes. Well. Sometimes you can't trust people. Well, we're going to an elevator. And of course you teleport. When I need my allies to teleport, they don't. But when they were just walking to an elevator in which they'll teleport anyway, they teleport. Ah, Han. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean the aliens? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. Tell me about I need the to aliens. Know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. How did they get here? Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. They're waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. Tell me about the Rachni. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. You're surviving. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Who? Dr. Zonmua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. A harsh choice, but... I closed the door. I killed her. Help me beat them. What do you know? Tell me what you know. 
I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. And Benezia. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot lads? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. Goodbye, Han. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. I used to have nightmares like this. Too many cheap horror myths before lights out. I don't quite care about any of these. At this point, I'm having half the eye have the idea to just not we did go away oh back off why is that a thing I need to make it I also kind of want to go through let me in Going through. You're not part of the crew. I'm here to make a cure. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Research notes. We have isolated four chemicals that can be combined to counteract the toxin. They must be mixed in precise quantities as each chemical is poured. The equipment will make mark the minimum and maximum amount that will work. Too little or too much will spoil the result. I'll take you, just in case. Thank God this isn't one of those things that's like, oh, you clicked down on the button and then moved. So, we'll make your life hell and act like you pressed the button anyway. Hello there, Commander Shepard here. We are currently in the middle of a horror movie. I've already gone to Vermeer, so. That was highly nerve wracking. Star mixing. I did it. Your mission ends here. Shepherd. What the fuck? Ambush. Where's the guard? What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in the I'm spot. starting this game up right now. Weapons Huzzah. free! Die, Commando! Well, at least we don't have to worry about proving ourselves on the way out. They came out of there. The Geth? You mean the Geth. The inorganics the Asari had with her. Benezia brought them with her. Can I get into maintenance? How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access, like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Thank you, Han. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Well, double good that I came here. Granted, I'm a little surprised that the Asari didn't kill everyone on the way in. But I knew that she was a little off. A little too calm and flippant. It would be one thing to be like, oh yes, I am trying to be calm through meditation, and then there's just being an asshole. And nobody noticed. I'm gonna inform the captain. Captain, bad shit went down. Something you need? I was attacked. I was attacked by the Asari who was in here. She killed your guard. Dr. Ayalis? She seemed like the most stable one here. A little too stable. She was a huntress pledged to the Matriarch. A group of Geth were with her. Geth? I didn't know. God's honest truth, I thought she was just another egghead. Son of a bitch. I've got work to do. You and me both. 
even more now. But hey, at least she didn't spring the geth on you from behind. Makes me wonder what her overall plan was. Just to kill me if I got here? Alright, now we need to head to the medical... Oh, did Dr. Cohen come out? What? Oh no, he's down below, I forgot. I still have a hard time reading this damn map. Keep forgetting that sometimes things are above or below where you see them on the map. Cohen! Is that the cure? You did it? An Asari attack. The Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall. She Complete five missions with the Asari squad member. Alestia? Huh. That's that was the achievement set. I, I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. I'm actually practicing for my yes. No Deaths Allowed run in the trilogy. Name. Should be I, fun. I the Definitely. I think I've no. died about They've been more on edge three times. Two to the nuke because time, har but harsh time limit and also the oh, we're going to use the probe model and then have fits. multiple things on it despite the fact that's not what everything else was. Getting into maintenance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough. That, oh, God, what a cliche. <laughs> you saved their lives. Do you know that? I don't need the Metagel. Happy to help. That's what I'm here for. Forget about it. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Oh yeah, and the uh, I got I was trying to pay attention to the uh, conversation as well as go for my thing. And my other death was caused by uh, rocket drones on Vermeer, absolutely blasting me. To the let me check. Novaria Rift Station. So he doesn't give you his pass. You can now sneak into the sealed maintenance area near the science team quarters and quarantine lab. So I guess I can go this way. But overall, I think a no deaths run wouldn't be terrible to do. Warning: Watchdog protocol is active. Override. How dare you override me? I am the overrider. What? Even you're angered at me, why? Okay. Does he have to do a lot again? I didn't expect that. On insanity, I might add. That would do it. They seem to be coming along well. Good news. I'll see you around. Of course. Be careful. Interesting. I didn't expect for them to... I thought it would just be like, oh, if I fail this, they attack, but if I succeed, they're normal. No. I wonder why. Why won't they let me into the secure lab, I wonder? Is that where all the arachne actually come from? Been counting your kills? I'm up to 24. I'm interested. Kind of wish that it would, like, uh, kind of inform me about that. Warning, watchdog protocol is active. Hmm. Very interesting. I thought that would be where the back door is. I guess the medical quarters back, I guess it does say that, in the medical quarters. There's too many medicals going around. I guess it did mention quarantine itself, but bibbidi bop. This is why we save. Into the back door we go. Maintenance time. See what horrors await us. Just more wrecking. 
ground, Rackney. They seriously needed Krogan for this. They just needed humans. Then granted, maybe they would have genophaged us, but you know, you know. You think they would have added an Omni Gel All button or a better experience Omni Gelling items? Okay, we just found her. I did not expect this. Considering you just tried to have me killed. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. That's not why Liara's Liara is here. here. Because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. What about Liara? I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict with her. I've been frozen. I've been frozen today. All right, only Venezia's power level. Throwing more at me? Apparently, yes. And boobs indeed. Seems each time she summons new enemies, she loses a bit of her power. Any more for us, Benezia? Oh, there was one more alive. I didn't realize that. You're gonna throw a Geth Destroyer at me, aren't you, one of these times? Also, why is it taking power out of you to just call in units? You'd be terrible in an RTS. Quit walking towards me, that's throwing off my groove. You completely- Oh hey, it's that Geth Destroyer I was talking about. Every time that she summons her boobs, it's smaller. It's all the boobs. Nah, I don't believe that. Granted, a biotic using their power to make their Rests appear bigger would be an interesting thing. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Well, more Everything like filled with the clear. light of a reaper. Heh, <laughs> the Rachni seems to disagree. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? Lol. I will not betray him. You will. You. Is the lack of sovereign around you getting to you? You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Like the Asari on Pharos. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. We've also met Sovereign. It was a terror to be trapped in your mind, to beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless, nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. And you have it? Can I assume you found the coordinates? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the Relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. 
Rachni found Rila. How did the Rachni find it? They searched patiently. They are territorial creatures driven to close any possible way into their systems. And Saren's Why plan. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You regret your actions. Still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Are you gonna kill yourself like the Pharaoh's dude? There isn't much time. I transmitted the coordinates to Saren before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Are you gonna feed yourself to the queen? Die. Oh, never mind. We fight. Oh, I'm frozen. Dang it, I missed. Sorry. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Stay with us. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. Am I right? They always said there would be a... <sighs> Also kind of hate how the music overlaps a lot. Now what about the queen? We can't let this go on. Ah oh, crap, and a sorry commando was moving. I don't like this th that. I shot them all in the chest and hey, you're not yourself, are you? Come on, you cannot be that interested in the Arachni Queen. Arachni Queen. What? Okay. It's going to speak through. Just like the Thorian. Voice. We cannot sin. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. I don't understand Music's you. What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. You're some kind of leader. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been lost to silence. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could Yeesh. learn to sing. They are lost to silence. And their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. If you're sure if you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more. 
The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. What are your plans? If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We the only fucking heard sovereign words, sent the Rachni against the them. Probably. Probably. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. That's if what I assume. Perhaps we would return. Maybe. Well, I won't kill you. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. You deserve a second chance, I say. Just know, you betray us, I will hunt you down. I'm all about forgiveness. I'm all about listening to people, and you seem good. You spoke well, and if, like you said, the Rachni that were attacking were all about... Because they basically were taught only violence, they couldn't be like real people. I got super paragon power! The scientists are probably gonna be angry, but hey. I made my choice. I'm here to save as many lives as possible so long as they're willing to be good. And Commando Sh uh, Commander Shepard here says good choice. Huzzah, I be good person. What? We have to get into the ele- We can't go to the elevator. Are they angry at us because we let them go? Maybe they're down here. I wanted to go back up, but it didn't seem like I was able, but we can only go down. What are you doing down here? Are you here to secure the situation? Are you alright? Are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Let them loose? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. That egg was ancient. A thousand year old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen that it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni, it is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise. Wow, the you did a lot of stuff differently than I've ever seen anyone do it. Interesting, really. Obviously, they were wrong. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I find that interesting. That without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. We can save them. And all we need to do is bring her here. No. We already I'm been sorry, through this, but I guess I but this will went things out work. of order. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am kind of interesting that, that we free the queen first, but we can't off. do. Hmm. Neutron purge. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Hmm. Just tell me how. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will get near and start. Yeesh. The 
besides, the queen asked us to do this. But first, we're gonna take the code. I can't do it till- I can't leave until I do it. I wonder if the three we hate you signs was Connecting. I have full access to the, the captain and guards. Situation What's report. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach in laboratory pod gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Initiate neutron, the purge. neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. I have the code. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Jesus, there's a fucking lot of them. That's what the queen wanted. And the hate you icons are gone, but I still can't get back up. Wonder why. I couldn't go through the... Maybe it was the wrong door. Maybe it was the... Yeah, maybe it was... Mm, let's see. No, I think it was the right door, but I can't go back. It's red now. Why, I wonder. Why did it lock me out? Did everyone evacuate while we were gone? Okay. Hope the queen didn't eat the people while they were... <laughs> Because she did go up a floor. So yeah, that's odd. I didn't expect to be locked out, and I still wonder what that... the three angry icons were. They had three enemy icons that are now gone. Very odd. But it looks like the only option left is to head back. Rachni threat has been contained. Queen Benezia has been killed. But she has helped us. I feel like we're entering the end game. Honestly, I was expecting more quests. Still very weird that I couldn't go back to the tentative hub area of we this. We need to hurry, Commander. My Benezia said she transmitted the Mu Relay's coordinates to Saren. He may have already gone through. We can't follow. That relay's inside the terminus systems. They're not fond of alliance ships over there, or Spectre. We'll be careful. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting. And besides, Saren is considered Saren a specter by the Terminus system people. Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. They will assemble a fleet to accompany you. It is our only hope. You're right. Crew dismissed. Joker, alert the Council. Tell them everything. Aye, aye, Commander. Damn it, I missed the signs of battle. I guess for one last time, I'm gonna go talk to everyone. I thought we were gonna have a council with the council there. Anything you need, Commander? Tactical What's appraisal. your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. Probably not. not. Maybe Sony's hurt him, though. Poor kid. How did they kill her own mom? Rachni queen. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record, if we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. 
we weren't out here during the Rathnai War, I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Let's see if Garrus is still stuck in his thank you, Commander mode. I'm beginning to think it might be a glitch, because everybody else has new things to say, but not Garrus. Seems weird. Looking for supplies? Anything unique? Nope. Just a bunch more X's, and I think I have, like, I have, I like what I have. Commander, I wanted to thank you. I don't have time for this. Oh. Goodbye. Very annoying. Shepard. Nothing new for you. Kind of interesting that the alien crew kind of falls to the wayside conversation wise. Hey Shepard, do you need something? Nothing new. See you later. Let's check my journal. Report to the council and warn them of Sarvalin's plan. I guess that means we have to go to the Citadel. Which I was gonna do anyway. Hopefully they don't tear my head off about letting the Rachni Queen go. Apparently that Rachni Queen had no memory of the war. Was left out of it. Considering it was an ancient the egg. To the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Oh. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Good. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Aha, we don't even... More than likely, we'll go through all the Council stuff here. Unless something fucking happens here, like Saren invading the Council. We'll talk to the council, be like, yes, commander, go and get the dibbity bob. And I'll save, and uh, we'll job, finish Shepard. it next time. Thanks to you, the council's finally taking real action against Seven. Or it could be a tr The ambassador is correct. What if they're, in, if what if they're indoctrinated? What if one of them's indoctrinated? Leave, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. What about Elos? How many Elos? ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Hmm. Send me a... Uh, let's see. Send me after... One ship going into the Terminus Systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. That was at the behest of the team that was already well there. Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. What about the conduit? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. I'll say this again so I can say no you don't. One ship going into the terminus. You detonated a new Your style served you well in no, the No, you don't. Command. We recognize It took me that. all of this to grab you touch. kicking and screaming to this we point. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. This is a Are mistake. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this. With my help, of course.
Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Hmm. Give me the message. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Come along, team. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior. We'll wander around the citadel one more time, and then I'll save. Commanding officer is outside flux. That's what I'll do. Has the deck. I'll wander around everywhere. Maybe head back to the citadel tower. Make sure everything's. Reporter recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard. The first human specter. Oh, I haven't Commander heard about Shepherd this. answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic Woo! mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. I'm a keen diplomatic mind. All right. We'll wander around the Presidium a little bit to see if there's anything new about there. I doubt it, but you never know. Wish that it was, like, just look about. Oh, is there an icon? But I guess they actually want you to look about. What class are you? I am an infiltrator. I chose to be. And then I think I took Commando as my specialization. Take a look around. Maybe the CSEC guy will have new conversational abilities since we went and talked to the council. But yeah, seriously, why, could, why couldn't we retort, or I detonated a nuke? No, your Solarian special ops team were the ones that created the nuke. And by the way, one of my team made sure that it went off by dying. Do you have the immunity talent? I should. Shepard, I'll be going. Goodbye. I keep, I keep. I just want to go fast. What can I do for you now? Nope, nothing I'll new. Be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Because let's see. Oh yeah, we leveled up. Master immunity and. Immunity specialization, though I don't think I've used immunity as an ability yet, unless it's just like a passive, but I don't think it is. But nope, recharge time, so it is an ability, so no, I haven't used it yet, though. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Oh, so if you pick barrier, you cannot have immunity. Interesting. Really? I didn't know that. Let's see. Well, I have shield boost. Uh, that's not barrier. But I do have the immunity. So, huzzah. Yeah, I don't think that there's anything special walking about. But at the same time, I want there to be. I want there to be interesting things, but I probably already did everything, so. We will head to the wards. I'll head to the med clinic, and then I'll make sure, like, my greatest fan isn't there anymore. Like, I sure I set him straight and said, hey, man. I can't make you a specter, and I don't want you to get killed. What's the protest about? Immunity is abusable and broken as fuck. Excuse me! You're the specter, right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Thanks. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Hmm. Terra Firma. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our you can basically be invisible. Earth must cool. stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. But many of your subordinates make this a point of race, not politics. 
Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. And now I Terrain don't like space you. space is yours. Of course we're concerned about your leadership. There's a bigger picture. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species if it have works no like it right did in the original. In alliance politics. I would honestly be upset if like, oh yeah, we're gonna nerf immunity while keeping all the other junk. They didn't fix the omni-gel efficacy system. They didn't fix <laughs> the Mako driving election. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Hmm. I say the um, appeasers are right. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. <laughs> Shanxi. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. <laughs> I won't you support you. You have the right you. to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. And only you. I stand with my crew. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like, at least you believe in the democratic process. Immediately after we're done talking, throw them out! Yep. With that, with that, I will save in front of Flux. Because we are entering in... Well, maybe I could do the conversation, but then that might lead to something. Ah, screw it. Let's end on a conversation. I don't want to end on racists. I want to end on my friend, the Captain. Captain Anderson. Are you, like, the uh, the gang guy from before? Oh. Who are you? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. All right, I'm listening. What kind of situation are we talking about? The racists, of or course, the, the right aliens are breaking it down on the dance floor. The best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I get I it. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. The drug. What is this stimulant, exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Like Adderall. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Have a little you faith. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. <laughs> the negotiations. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Have a little faith. You should put some trust in your assistant. <sighs> my assistant wants to... No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. If you're an addict. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulus, <laughs> close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Then the game is wrong. I don't see wrong. all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. 
After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You need help. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. <laughs> Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'm, I... And then he realizes, oh. I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. You'll be okay, There's my There's no dude. shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. But I'm happy to have helped you. Yeah, because if he went on back in on that stimulant, he probably would have freaking. He probably would have messed up the trade negotiations. I will save, we'll have a conversation, and hopefully Saren won't invade the Citadel. It is a Reaper Citadel, though. I'm glad you came, sir. Now I know how you felt. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islas. You have to stop Saren from using the convoy. It's not that simple. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What happens to you? you? steal the Normandy. You're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. What about my crew? Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Thank you, Captain. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. Aye, aye, Captain! From one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Any other There's options? There's be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador won't forgive this, Captain. He'll be charged with treason. Capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Oh god, what do I choose? Why is this a choice? Oh. So let's see. Because if he breaks into his office, he only has to deal with Udina. But Citadel Control, uh, that would upset like more, like uh, he would have to get past the actual C-Sec. But Udina seems like an asshole. Break into his office. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I'm ready, Captain. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Well, I'll quickly check out Chora's den, just in case, because there was a guy. Well, at the same time, they probably put the guy there because we were going to flux anyway. So it's like, hey, here's a, another conversation quest for you. Let's see if we can finally talk to Harkin. Do you have no purpose anywhere, Harkin? Go away. Harkin has no purpose. Unless there's a quest for sitting next to the Azari stripper. It's entirely possible. But I'm not gonna do it.
But with that, with that... Oh, I hope to God that my dude... Please be okay, Captain Anderson. You're one of the best characters in this game and you're probably gonna die. Please, oh. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the genetic And I already put that fraud. together. Binary the Helix worked for Saren. Saren used that contract to make the Krogan clones. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. It's just like, you can't believe that that thing that was at the beginning had such an impact. Let's get out of here. Please, Anderson, be okay. <laughs> Knowing my luck, Stand by. the game sure. is like, haha. It's actually, you should have gone progress. with Citadel Control. Anderson, what are you doing here? Punch him! I didn't send him. <clears throat> That's an awesome scene, either way. Green to go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. And the Citadel is just like, for God's sakes, we we already had to deal with one rogue specter. See ya, suckers. God, I hope Anderson is okay. I'll reconvene with my crew, talk with everyone, and that'll be it. I worry for Anderson. Knowing my luck, well, uh, hopefully, hopefully, Anderson will be okay. I think if I send him after the Citadel Control, he would have walked in, knocked out some people, and then the it would have ended with Anything guns pointed at him. Matter? Looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can Tactical count appraisal. on your opinion. I'm sure Dr. Fasoni's heard enough. Okay. We'll talk another time. time. Hey, come on, there has to be something about this. Glad to know that my crew is behind me, though. I wonder if the requisition officer is still with me. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you've you got. bet, Commander. But <gasps> Oh. It's slightly better in some ways. But it's also a shit ton of money. But at the same time. It's this or never, I guess. Well, might as well grab it. I'm here. And I'll grab the assault rifle, too. Let me guess, you wanted to thank me, Commander. I can't believe we stole nope. the Normandy. Nope. Yay! After everything you told me, uh, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? What choice did we have? Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. Relax, Garrus. We'll just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Yay, Garrus is behind me. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. That's my ship. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Thanks, Rex. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. You are a great ally, Rex. I, I love hope you. They don't catch us before we get our hands on Sarah. <laughs> no kidding. You and me both. You'll get us through, Shepard. So long. I'm happy that I was able to talk you down, Rex. Shepard. And you, it, that is exactly the reason why I went so hard on Paragon points. It's just like, nope, nope, nope. I am not going to risk anything. I know how these games work. We're fugitives on the run. Very. <laughs> I wonder what the council would do to us if we got caught. Hunt. 
Wouldn't your dad help your us? Your father probably had some political pull, right? He wouldn't let them throw his little girl in jail. You don't know my father. <laughs> Stealing ships is a capital offense among my people. He'd probably want to execute us himself. But no problem. The Normandy's the I'll best get through ship this. in the fleet. They I'll make sure we all changes. get through this. I hope you're right. I should go. See you later. And I'll finish off with talking to Dr. Tassoni. Maybe the uh, ooh, maybe the other human people on the crew will have something to say finally. Oddly enough, except for Caden. Caden had nothing to say about us stealing a, of the, the ship that he's been serving on all this time. That's a bit interesting. We'll talk to the doctor and the other doctor. But more than likely, the other human people have nothing to say, even though this is a major paradigm shift. It's strange. Being nope. Yay. From the Alliance. They're finally getting out of voice lines. sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. Even if it is just a single thing, thank you for giving them something to say here. This will all be over soon, Shepard. One way or another. And then there's just those two who are always sitting there. But here we are. Level, what level are we? Wrong button. Squad. Level 28, entering the end game. Presley, what do you think about all this? Can't believe we stole the Normandy. I know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. This is why I love you, Presley. This is why you are second in command of this ship. <laughs> oh, damn it. No sign of pursuit? <laughs> I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. <laughs> Mission's not over yet. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? <laughs> I have to go. All right, see you. I love that. You know, it doesn't sound that much fun when you say it, Captain. Ah, oh, but I love this. If, like, Presley and Chakwa's got a bit more, like, uh, love, I would say that this would be, like, amazing. I would love... I, you know, I say that. I, I was gonna say I would love to see like a Mass Effect series where they just take the the base of the game and like expand on it, add a bit of slice of life to the adventures. But you just know it would turn out like the Halo show. Ah, we're gonna ruin everything. <laughs> but yes, but yes, yes. I think that'll do it for now. We've been going for nearly six goddamn hours, but we are entering the end game. I've done the majority of the quests in the game according to achievements. I've just done a lot. We're nearing the end game. I can't wait. I cannot wait. The I love it. I love the main stuff and the, the side stuff. Like when it comes to the actual quests and the dialogue and doing things, it's great fun. But at the end of it, I got to say the Mako sections, especially on highly mountainous worlds, sucks. The Mako itself is okay. But when you have to actually man harshly maneuver geometry, it just really brings it down. But the overall of actually an experience, and it, it was very fun. Was very fun. But that'll be it for now. Can't wait to see what happens next. Though I have a feeling that it's all going to end in the Citadel, but we'll get to that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, the normal Neon Icy Wings, which I post edited content to, and then Neon Icy Games, where all the archives and VODs and recordings of these streams go up. If you're already one of those people watching the archived streams, then you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And then if you want even more from me, I try to draw and upload art to places like Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr. All of them are at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time as we presumably finish off the first leg of Mass Effect. I'll see you next time.